Okay, are we all here? Let's do a quick roll call. Uh, Dinry. Hello. It's almost not here. Mayon. Mayon, Mushroom Man here. Rest in peace. Mushroom Man is not here. He's dead. He's, He's reporting. He is dead. We'll have to honestly ban him. Wait a little longer. Sorry, Mayon, back. You here. Oh, yeah. he's here. Cool. Uh, Mayon's here. Zayn, what's he here? Damn, now Zayn was his turn to die. Zayn is dead. <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry. I've uh, and then Topo, some. yeah. Topo? Damn, everyone's Topo. fucking dead. <laughs> okay, cool. Everyone's here. Hey, so. Previously, on our previous session, as I uh, turn on the musics and the rains, uh, okay, so previously. After you guys had uh, sorted out the loot you guys have gotten. Uh, finding beards and odd effects on some of these weapons, which seemed... Or not some of it, not all of it. Um, and after sorting your loot, you guys decided to, you know, head back to town. However, you guys later found out you guys were just somehow walking in circles. With no way out and you guys kept walking back to the the broken down carriage that flam had died at you guys decided to take a quick rest a short rest goes by the rain started you know coming down on you guys pretty pretty lightly a nice light wind you guys Continued on onto a long rest Trying to get some uh, cover with the broken down wagon You guys made a small fire and began to uh, Take a long rest With I believe Mayon on the first long rest Yep. Or is it Denry? I think Denry was there too. You guys were doubling up for uh, that, I, I think it was me and Chrono. No, for the, for the first long rest, or for the short rest, like first we, half of the long we rest, yeah. Teleported. You guys, oh. uh, it was Dinri and Mayon taking watch of the first long rest, and as the rain kept falling, the terrain began began to change. Underneath you guys, leaving the wagon behind, and apparently bits of the fire that you guys had made as the rain fell on the rest of the party into the into the open the rest of you were woken up into a newfound land that was very clearly still the swamp but it was not where you guys just were you guys began to walk around investigate the place Mayon and Xanalus eventually figured out that you guys were much deeper into the swamps than you guys had planned. You guys were very close to the dangerous tower that was rumored to, you know, have come out of nowhere and have spawned monsters and insane things would happen. Uh, Avenger had gone down them, but... Then again, it's a very dangerous place, and not much has happened. You guys began to move with a smell, a very foul smell in the air as you guys moved northeast, hoping to get away from as far away as you guys could get from the tower. You guys were walking and walking until you guys felt you guys were at a safe spot because the sun has gone down. With the clouds covering the sky, no one could see anything, except for those with dark vision. And you guys attempted another long rest. 
with Mayon standing watch alone. During this first watch, you... You know, <laughs> ran up... Well, you climbed the tree and run up the tree. Uh, you climbed a nearby tree and... Kept the watch for an hour before you saw the moon in the sky. But... As you looked at it and thought about it, the moon shouldn't be there as, you know, if a day or a few days prior, it was still basically a new moon. And this was a, like halfway, like a pretty decent crescent moon that was shining. You kept looking at it and it began to move and you recognized it as one of the monsters that destroyed your village. As the foul smell gets closer and even worse, Mayon woke the rest of the party and prepared for battle and threw a flaming sphere at the creature. So, with uh, where we left off, here, oh, as it loads, here's your battle map. Cool. <laughs> as, uh, some of you can't see for shit. <laughs> Fuck! And let me, uh... Move that Is music. That Wolfie and Flame? Uh, yeah, so that's Wolfie and Flame. I gave him, like, semi-actual proper tokens. Hey, um, let's go. Just give me uno momento as I... Change the audio a little more. Uh, is this my tree over here? Your tree... Yeah, basically. I had you walk up a little because of a uh, little distance thing, but yeah. Um, one second. Ajay. And where where do we see this? Or where well, does Denry see the light? Uh, this light, this uh, very, you know, it's fairly bright. Uh, it's coming from the south side there. As I, uh, give me one second. As I my audio that I had planned that is currently right here. A read. Totally proper music. Anyways, okay, so down there let me uh, move some other stuff real quick. As it's kind of lagging on my thing. Don't mind me. Uh, out from the bottom half of the map is the creature, and it has slowly crept up. And let me change my screen to this. Roll this guy. Okay, Tuppo, what's your dexterity modifier? 17. 17, okay. So, first in initiative order is Soma. He's, uh, we'll say for this front. <laughs> the first two um, people can't see shit. He can't like, see shit. So he's gonna take a wild, you know, shot at the shining tail that's down south. That's, uh, um, kind of down there. We told him that the tail, the shining thing was the tail to aim a little bit. Yeah. So. Uh, honestly, because it is, it is, at this point, you guys know it is the, that's, the guy there is um here look at that you can see him now maybe uh Denry. oh shit i think i see him through all this rainy darkness yeah i mean it's a little exaggerated but it's you know you can you don't see it but you see the tail and shining and you know you can take a semi guess of where it is um, Soma is going to attempt to shoot, but since he can't actually see it, um, I will still be having him roll at disadvantage. Um, he's going to pause his heavy breaker and attempt to shoot. Good question. Yes. Uh, since I've fought this before, sorry for the noise in the background, yes. would I know what type of creature it is? Uh, you could just DM me if I yeah sure i mean that works hmm 
Okay. Uh, Soma, in the blind of the dark, shoots an arrow at this creature, and it disappears in the distance. You guys don't know what happened to it, but whatever Wait, happened to dark it. Dark vision, do. Uh, those with dark vision. Uh, I mean, it's barely right outside your range. I'd say you guys can see, um, just barely a hint of the arrow, the bolt, lodging into the creature. Did he hit it? <laughs> Holy shit. I think so. One second. That's All right, right. I'm, I'm going to aim for that then. <laughs> Once it's my turn. There we go. I got to roll damage. Oh, why did uh, that thing just roll? No idea. Okay, so 11 piercing damage. Very nice. Lodges in and... Who is next? Dinri, you're next. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'm just going to aim from where I saw that hit. Or where they said that it hit, so I'm going to aim to where Vaguely I saw that there. Okay. bolt fly. Go yeah. ahead and roll an attack roll at disadvantage. Disadvantage. Yes. Yo. Uh, let's see. How many? Okay, I do have some magic shots. Hang on one second. Make sure. Okay, the uh, question on the way we're handling this. Okay. If I use my seeking arrow, I've seen his tail and like the uh, kind of the silhouette of it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Would seeking arrow work or do I think that it's just going to go after the tail if I shoot it? I mean, your target would probably be, be the tail or if not like the the like the the tail part like not the the moon looking part but like maybe the tail part where you know it's clearly connected it. all right well i might use grasping arrow if i do hit let's okay. see if i do though one two three and long the uh so you I see the hurt. arrow <laughs> you know you're blindly shooting here just kind of getting your feel for it shooting your arrow out um and it whizzes pretty close the rest of the party can see this it whizzes pretty close but does not land did i get him nope shit all right i'll try again next time guys uh i mean i don't really you got anything else or is that it let me see i don't know how to move i guess i'll get Maybe a little bit closer, like right here. Okay. Stay close to the water, though. It's just following the water, nearly falling in for a second, but you know, you, you got your alligator, your crocodile me, feet, I'll, you're fine. I think Dinri would feel safer if he fell in the water. <laughs> um, Flam here. Let me uh, pull up his thing real quick. Uh, He's kind of just going to hover over Wolfie here. On uh, attempting to uh, cover him from whatever dangers <laughs> come from him. I put Bumpy ahead of by accident. So, uh, Xanlis, you could also control Bumpy at this time. Uh, Bumpy is going to just run. Because Bumpy is being told to run. Okay, where is he going to run? Uh, let me see. Uh, quick thing, if you left click the token and then right click, you will also have that arrow. You also have like that same... Uh, distance thing going on so you can see uh where do you want to drag him without having to pull the oh, ruler out neat. yeah and if you right click multiple I times it's like mean. spot a spot spot yep no what hold on to the token right click yeah you need to select the select and move thing first if you select the ruler it's not gonna work but yeah um but like if you do you see my ruler for flame here maybe I, it's working now for me there yeah. you go. i'm gonna have him run over here Okay. Could run, be. Bumpy. Bumpy runs off and attempts not to uh, trample his friendlies in the midst of that. Uh, okay. He just, he's a beast. He could also, again, if you want him to, take the dash, dodge, or disengage action. Yeah, I'm gonna have him hold dodge. Okay. And Xanlis, the rest of your uh, troop? Yeah. One second. Uh, 
Oh, oh how are crazy. how are spell points working again? Uh, level Just one spells are two points. Level two spells are three. Level three spells are five points, I believe. Uh, if you go down in the in the journal, there's a spell point page at the very bottom that you can just open up. Yeah, right the there. half caster one. Oh, half casters for that. I mean, but your yeah. cost is still the same. First, okay, two points for first level then. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. Guiding bolt. At the creature, okay. since I see it. Yep. Guiding bolt, sixteen and sixteen. You send out your guiding bolt, hand, reaching your hand out. This beam of, of what color do you want this guiding bolt to be? Mm, bright blue. Bright blue. This bright blue energy flies from a hand and lands true onto this creature. And I believe what it, uh, there's advantage on his. Uh, I get advantage on him because he's now glowing. He oh, he's right would now be light. glowing. He, yes! he is now a he is now visibly look. glowing. But it, it's something. I can actually it is see something. It now. I mean, with that, and I would say with this dim light gl attack. glowing, you will have advantage regardless because you can like visibly see it now. You're like you're not like looking through blindness, you know. So uh, any attack will just be at normal advantage unless there's something else giving disadvantage. Uh, is that is that your turn? Uh, no, I'm gonna move to. Go ahead. Probably. Right. Okay. Uh, Wolfie uh, is gonna kind of walk through his owner and start barking at the creature. The smell, by the way, has uh, gotten pretty bad as the creature gets closer. Uh, it's not great. It's not, not smelling great. Topo, you're next. All right. Does the advantage for that uh, guiding bull apply to any attack against him? I believe so. Uh, let's check. The next attack roll made against this target before next the end of your next turn has advantage mind. thanks to the mystical. Yeah. So any attack roll has advantage. Which, cool. if you attack it, you'd be, you know, doing that. Then I can add on my sneak attack. Yes. And then I'm gonna short bow. A short um, bow. At this range, I don't know if that's... Uh, if you want to move closer, shoot and run away, but I think that's well within 80 feet. He got a crit! I mean... He is well within 80 crit. feet, that's fine. Uh, do you want to roll for a double crit? It doesn't matter, but... You tell me had advantage, so... Oh yeah, there you go. Didn't beat it, but... Uh, okay, crit, short bow. Uh, go ahead and roll damage, because that definitely hits. Uh, is oh, that I... with the that thing? That is not with sneak attack because I forgot to do it. Is that crit proper crit? I can't tell. The way you're doing it, I'm not sure. No, it is. That, that's the extra six there. Yeah, yeah, it is. So 11 and then sneak attack. Or how do I do math? 16. 16. 16 damage. Nice. So you go ahead and shoot your arrow from the wagon. You know, you got a little height. So, you know, you got, you got the reach, you got the range uh, that you, you know, if you needed it, it makes the shot a little easier with that extra height. Uh, you know, you get a really good pull on your bow and you send it flying and you watch it, especially those that are closer, like Xanlis. Uh, the creature, like, just about, like, opens its mouth before the arrow just lodges it down his throat. So. Did you hit it? <laughs> Yeah, he definitely. No. Uh, now and it is the creature's turn. As good timing on that hit. This creature moves up. Oh, you. It will. Let's see. Who's in range here? You're not in range. Damn. Okay, then it's going to uh, dash up to the cart as you had just hit it pretty hard. 
And Wait, that is his on. turn. Did it go through 10 feet of me? Uh... I will say where, just yeah, barely. Yeah, it's within 10 feet I'll, yeah. now, so... Yeah. All right, I'm going to quickly try to hit it with my glaive. My glaive of beards. Glaive of beards, you hit it? One, it got its hand. I'm checking. God damn it. <laughs> you go ahead and guiding, swing at it, but the this smell... This is guiding multiplied apply the reactions. <laughs> the smell as it Don't gets really. closer to you really hits you hard, and you really just kind of flinch back at the stench. You kind of gag a little as... Uh, Mid-swing, dinner you go... <laughs> yeah. It wasn't great. Um, okay, so, uh, Mayon, it is now your turn. I'm gonna chill touch him. Okay. Um, there was something else that I wanted to add that we forgot at the beginning of the session somehow. Um, let me pull it up real quick. That would have been your flaming sphere. That's not the right size. Mm -hmm. Um... Is that right? There you go. Okay, so that would have been like all the way down here. Anyway, uh, and then you would have to move it. Uh, what is the flaming sphere? Let me pull that up real quick myself. Flaming sphere is a what? Level one or level two spell? Level two. Level two spell. I flaming sphere. I got it. I got it. Uh, so it would have done two d eight. So go ahead and roll a two d eight. Uh, sorry, two d six. Uh, and I'll have it quickly roll a uh, dexterity saving throw. What's your save? 13. 13. Okay. I rolled a 10, so it will take the full 7 damage. That was This would have been way like before combat technically started, because that's what totally initiated it. Um, and then, so this time you're doing chill touch with 18. Yep. That would have hit. And then you can bonus action move the flaming sphere if you wish to. Yeah, I can move up to 30 feet. How far did he move? Uh, he dashed, so he's way out of your 30 feet. But you can move it anywhere there. Yeah, I'll move it 30 feet up. Okay. That is concentration, right so let me mark that on you. Uh, and then your 7 necrotic damage for chill touch, which is a... What save? Oh, it's a range attack spell. You need to roll yeah. attack for that, which you rolled 18, which you did attack. Oh, yeah, so you're into that. Clearly. Okay. So go ahead and chill touch it. And at this point, uh, is there anything else in your turn? Or is that it? No, that's it. Okay. So that is round one done. The Soma is now Soma's turn. Soma, being very close to it, is going to be very spooked um he will that is not how that works hmm okay he's gonna attempt to back up towards Xanlis which will give attack attack of opportunity 15 his AC is 16 so it does not hit okay so has higher AC than I do. What the fuck? He's got studded. Uh, so Soma quickly uh, reloads. Actually, we'll have him. Uh... Actually, is that okay? I'll have him do volley fire again, which is his fancy gun spell, which guarantees damage for a whole. Was a D four for that? I believe. D4 plus or you minus. Just rolled it for you. Yeah, I only rolled once though, and we he said he wanted to roll for each one, so uh, I believe three darts. So that's two damage. Roll D4 and D4. Uh, four damage. Eight damage. Very nice. So you see these, these fancy little uh, handbreakers be summoned out of nowhere and shoot at this creature for very tiny damage, but it is damage nonetheless. Uh, Dittery, it is now your turn. Uh, I can see this old bastard. Down. One second. It is now... Okay, hold on. I forgot this. 
I have to roll something for uh, Soma because he started his turn within 10 feet of the creature. He needs to roll a constitution saving throw or be poisoned. Which he... I don't know why is that at his advantage. Uh, he succeeds though. So he's fine. Uh, Dinri, you are within 10 I feet at the start of your turn, so go ahead and roll a constitution saving throw for me. Oh, no, you motherfucker. Oh, yeah. 22, very nice. You shake off the smell. And what do you do? Oh, even though I know it's poisonous, uh, considering how close it is to Wolfie, T and Tuppo, and uh, I guess Ghosty, blame. I'm not going to move away from it. I'm just going to reposition a little bit. Okay. Going to kind of get on the side of it where I'm close enough uh, and to use my Glaive of Beard. Glaive of Beard, very nice. Uh, uh, the Sentinel, real quick, is that any, any attack or attacks of opportunities only? Or that no movement? Because I don't remember. What are you talking about? For a Sentinel. I guess I'll just go look. Uh, but go ahead and make your attack roll. I'll go look at it. It's fine. Alright. Okay. Uh, Jado, I can't move the Flaming Sphere. Yeah. Did you move it 20 already? You didn't. That's... or 30, sorry. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you go ahead and That's swing at it. That hits. Very nice. Go ahead and... For whopping five For whopping damage. five damage. Very nice. And I, as my bonus action, will swing the handle around. Swing the handle around and stab it, slap it, whatever it is. For another 21, very nice. Go ahead and roll damage for a whole uh, two so damage. Seven for damage nice. total. For Fucking seven damage, sick. very nice. Uh, okay, uh, Flam's turn, he uh, doesn't smell. So he attempts to uh, block Wolfie here. Which, you know, does whatever the hell that does. It's endless. It is now your turn and Bumby's. Okay. Would this be considered flanking right there? Uh, where are you moving? I don't actually see you moving. Flanking. Oh yeah, um, my flanking left. is like bonus to your attacks, which, uh, yeah, I guess because didn't reach technically flanking, it did hit it from him. So depending on where you're moving, yeah, I guess. Because I don't actually see where left. you're moving. Yeah, yeah, that works. What are your rules for flanking? Uh, you get a plus two or more, depending on who's actually threatening it, which is currently only Dinri in range. So it's a plus two, an extra plus two to attack. And if that goes two nuts, then I'm probably changing it. But for now, it's been fine. Uh, as a bonus action. Okay. I'm gonna cast Searing Smite. Very nice. Oh, you're gonna make it smell even worse. And then I'm gonna attack with my longsword plus one and use Great Weapon Master for okay. minus five on my roll. But it tapped me but minus it three. Does a fat but yeah. Ten is, it does a fat 10 damage extra if it hits. Yes. Go ahead and, uh, Roll your attack roll. Oh, whoops. Plus two would be 11. That does not Do hit. Do I still technically have advantage or no? Uh, no, I, 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 I remove the advantage thing for the... Oh, for the guiding bolt? That gets removed on the first attack roll that you The first said. attack, yeah. Yeah. Um, anything else? Sad times. Uh, no, I don't think you can do anything else. But okay. Gonna stay. Uh, is Bumpy gonna do anything? No, he's staying. Okay. Uh, Wolfie is... Let me pull up his thing real quick. Uh, 
if it wants to load. Please. Okay, I'm gonna forego Wolfie's turn real quick because it's not loading. Good thing Searing Smite lasts for a whole minute. Thank God. Uh, Tuppo, go ahead and roll a Constitution saving throw for me, please. Eleven. You are now poisoned, which, Shit. if you didn't know, now means that uh, any attack rolls or ability checks you make are now at disadvantage. I got some stuff for that in the pack. Just give us like five minutes for me to brew it. <laughs> Damn it. Why don't you have one of those ready? <laughs> you have you to like the future. mix it in. <laughs> Gotta mix no, it in, boil gimmick. the water. <laughs> <laughs> um, but go ahead and uh, what are you gonna do? Tapo is going to let out a draconic cry. Okay. So any 10 feet now has advantage against any attack for how long? Until the start of my next turn. Until the start of your next turn, any attack against the creature is now at advantage as Hooray! very loud cry, very, very high pitched screeching from Tuppo here. All right, what are, what, what's next? And then Tuppo is going to charge forward, pull out the fancy new short sword, short sword. Short, short power. Yeah. And give him a good old smack with it and also a sneak attack. Because also sneak attack, yes. Others, you technically yeah. have a plus three to this. Sixteen. That hits. Oh yeah, this is the one that we don't really know what it does. I think. Um, I think minus. I think top. You have the thing in your thing, right? I don't. Ask, the thing in uh, my thing. Oh no! Is it bugged out? I'm clicking. It's not popping up. Which thing are you clicking? <laughs> For your short sword. Yeah, let me just check your DMs sword? real quick. Did I send it to you there, I believe? Yeah, I did. It's basically the thing I sent you in DM. Uh, yeah. That, I mean, yeah, power from plus one. The other thing doesn't really matter much. Uh, okay, so does that, that does add a plus one, I believe? It does. So that There's does 14 one, damage. Am I doing my math right? I am doing my math right. 14 damage. Very nice. How's it looking? It's, uh, you know, you guys poked at it a lot and uh, did some serious damage, especially with that guiding bolt and that flaming sphere. It's, it's uh, looking pretty hurt. Uh, at this point, it's going to do two things. One, Tuppo, he's gonna, uh, you're gonna watch this shining tail come swinging at you with pretty, pretty great speed. Watch out, Tuppo. Uh, if it lets me click on it. Yeah, you know, what's your AC? He rolled a 15. I'm gonna use my foresight. Okay, so I roll again. That's a another 15. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yep. Okay. Uh, so as it hits you. He's gonna use his foreskin. Uh, as it hits you. Well, that's what's hitting. It does. 20 points of damage. Ouch. Uh, and roll a constitution saving throw for me. <laughs> Top of fucking 20? dead. 20. Uh, and, and because you are technically still poisoned, I guess you technically also have four sides. You're rolling straight for this. Okay, it will... Okay, yeah, so you're knocked... Uh, you're knocked prone along with that. <laughs> you are okay, Tuppo? <laughs> <laughs> I have prone? I have prone right there. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, after that, it is now going to, uh, open its mouth once again. And it's gonna look at, let's see, who's gonna look at? 
Is it one creature? It is one creature. All right, who's done? Who's done a shit ton of damage to this guy? I mean, Tubbo, but <laughs> Tubbo, yeah, but it already hit Tubbo. Um. Looking through, looking through. Okay, I'll say. You can do what I do. I will, I'm not sure. Make a roll. I will say it will go for you, Dinri, since Zalus didn't really actually do damage to it. I spread, um, I spread but out you my watch arms. it open its mouth, and you see a bit of a uh, bit of dark energy, you Wait, know, turning up in his mouth as it. There's this very dark energy beam coming right at you. I changed uh, my mind. Don't go ahead on. and make a constitution throw saving throw for me. Uh, con save. She. Alright. She. Pretty much. I mean, I got. Eh. Not ideal. I Not don't ideal. Have inspiration. Fuck. Uh, but. It didn't roll that. It didn't roll. I, it did. It didn't roll that bad. It did roll pretty bad for its damage. You take twenty points of damage on that one. Ouchie! What kind of damage is this? This is necrotic damage. Yeah. So even worse. Even worse. Mm. Um. Okay. So that is uh his turn. Man. Oh, it is now no. your turn. We're not too, it's so Looking great at this creature, it is bleeding in, you know, a few spots. It did have an arrow go down its throat. Which, Denry, when you saw it charge its attack, it seemed to, like, I don't know, short circuit a little, I want to say. So instead of killing me outright, it just heavily damaged me. I have an idea. Pretty much. I'm but it is, you know, showing some serious wear and tear. I'm gonna use my action to... Uh, fuck, I don't know if I wanna do that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna heal Denry and fucking Topo first. Okay. I'm going to cast Healing Spirit. Okay, uh, we were using a Garrotus as your healing spirit, I believe, so there you go. Oh. Uh, which... Uh... First time on a turn or start this turn there, you can cause... Okay, so since we're no longer doing our, uh, weird simultaneous combat, uh... You will heal whenever someone starts a turn or... Moves that? It starts his okay. turn there, or or moves into or the moves space it. for the first time. So that's does that yep. does that count as I I'll I'll, f I'll allow it if you want to heal Dinner or Tubbo on this as you cast it. Yeah, I'll heal Tubbo. Yeah. Okay. I'll heal <laughs> and you want to re-roll your D6, or do you want to take that three? I'll take the three. Okay, so you get three hit points, Tubbo. As uh, you see a little. Little faintly glowing mushroom appear next to you. That no, it looks like your uh your your mushroom friend's little buddy, uh. But uh, it's oh healing God, you. Where did you come from? And then I'm gonna use my action to uh, give myself uh, ten hit points. I will say because healing point. spirit is also a concentration spell, your flaming sphere is gonna disappear. Okay, cool. That's fine. Uh, and in your action to, uh, do what, the symbiotic and see, or, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's also a wild shape use. Well, Go ahead and mark that off and give yourself yep. all of that. Are you going and to move? Yes, I am going to move right in front of Dinri. Oh, okay. Oh. And that will, that, my... will that allow me to deal the 1d4 necrotic damage, or is it only when it moves? Uh, let's go look at it, because I don't remember. Put it in chat. Uh, when a creature see they move within you, or starts his okay. turn there. So, yeah, so next turn, it's gonna basically take that regardless, but yeah. yeah but not now. Yeah. I feel like the plus, plus thanks, thanks, to, thanks to Tupu's draconic roar, we all have advantage against him yes. anyway. 
plus like the what plus four plus, all of us around it uh, yeah i'll say plus four um so man is that your turn done to... okay. yep that's my turn done okay uh soma's going to uh let's see oh i should have done this earlier whoops uh Soma's bad, I forgot to help you. Uh, Soma's gonna run up behind Tuppo here and cast Cure Wounds on you, Tuppo. I forgot to take his spell points away. But you get 5 plus his modifier, and his modifier is. You get 9 hit points, Tuppo. As hey. Soma quickly uh, touches you. On, on your tail, stroking a little, and then healing you with that. Okay, that's a little creepy. You didn't have to add that little bit to the tail. Like, mm, pretty skilly, pretty fun. Uh, okay. Uh, that is action, bonus action. Brother. Uh, I'm gonna have him pull a bonus action, pull his hand, his handbreaker, and take a pot shot. At the thing. At advantage now, since of the cry. Uh, Handbreaker. At advantage. Four. Very nice. That does hit. Or five damage. Very nice. This creature's being big. It kind of just lodges into one of the sides, finding a way to path, path, pass its uh, occasional fur and scales that it has on it. Uh, Dinri, it is now your turn. Uh, uh what, what should I roll for the healing spirit? Is it d6? Uh, healing spirit uh, is, I believe, d6. It is d6. But that's if Mayon uh, is <laughs> giving that to you, but yeah, I assume he is. Uh, two yeah. points. Very nice. For solid is that 12. no modifier onto that healing spirit? Okay, uh, no, it's just. I think it's just. You use it a number of times of equal it. to modifier. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, uh, All right, so what are you gonna do? I'm getting that and real close to this guy. Mm, you're gonna purify food and drinks? <laughs> no, I click the wrong button. Just <laughs> like, uh... I'm gonna quickly purify food while I'm in the middle of this combat. <laughs> We're bringing a uh, ritually casting, I uh, Jada, what a new would level. you consider? I don't even have that prepared. <laughs> would you consider it a bonus action or an action to Two. apply one of the small vials of the special spider, teleporting spider venom? I will say, if you are attempting to quickly put us on and get an attack, and I'll let you do it as a bonus action, but the, there would be like a chance for it to not work or for it to work. Fuck it, I got two of them. I might as well right. use one of them now. I really want to know what this shit does to something. Okay, so go ahead and... Oh, okay, so you quickly pull out this vial and, you know, very... You know, your glaive... You're putting your glaive? Yeah, so I, like, pull the handle down. Okay, yeah, quickly, so, you know, it, it's a bit cord. awkward, but, you know, you can get... You know, a semi-decent... I wouldn't say coat, it on the but edge there's, a, there's the a bit of, like, you know, there's a bit uh on it uh and then you're going to go ahead and swing i assume yep and then i move so i don't accidentally hit me on with this <laughs> okay and i've got advantage plus the fucking plus four that we have right now yep uh i will quickly pull up that poison real quick so i don't forget what it does, does. 18 plus 18 four. does hit yep all right, so damage from just the glade. It's 12. There we go. There's some fucking nice. damage. Uh, jab this thing right in its neck. You jab it right in the snack, and then I will have it roll it. Uh, con save. Whoops. Oh, shit. It rolled a seven. Woo! And at this point... Uh, as you stab it in there, you know, digging it really in there, um, it seems to semi-fade oh. into, I don't know, non-existent. It's, you can still see it. It's there. 
but it's like kind of translucent at much more than flam is but you know a lot of the i if you could see it a lot of the color that's on it has basically gone pale i want to say and it is semi just semi there semi not there you can still feel it a little on your blade. Uh, sorry guys, I may have made it a ghost. Is that your turn? I mean, uh, the bonus action was applying it. I moved a little. Yeah, that's on okay. turn. Uh, Flam, let me pull up his thing. This is telling me he had something. Uh, Flam here is going to uh, fucking grab and like punch at it, basically. I mean, it's a ghost too. Go for it's it. It's a ghost too. Yeah. Uh, let me just open that. Oh, I closed it by accident. Oh, so, Flam's turn. It will. Okay, I might have to roll aside from the thing. It is a. <laughs> A minus two to this roll. Hey, plus four. Uh, plus four, yeah. Uh, he rolled a 17. Uh, sorry, a 13 minus a two to 11 plus four is 15. His AC is 14. So whatever small damage that just did with his strength, you know, not not much. Uh, Xantlis, it is now your turn. I kind of forgot to get. I it... actually no, you didn't have to do that because of that. Never mind. Does it look like I would do anything if I swung my sword through? Uh. Let me check something. Let me check if it would do anything. Um. No. It does not look like no, it looks sorry, like gang. a semi ghost. It does not look like it, it's gonna do it. You can still see it. Like it's there, but it looks ghostly enough for you to just like pass through as if nothing was there. Wait, does that mean it can't hit us either? Yeah, should I give, give it like a pale tint to it? I don't know if I can do that. Um, is that is that is that good enough? Maybe, hopefully. Uh, so Zalus, sure. what are what are you doing? Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hold my action to like dodge. Okay. Uh, and I guess Bumpy's just gonna stand up there. Bumpy's doing the same thing, chilling, holding action Wolf to dodge. Wolfie. But he's staring now. He is staring, so he is now looking at this, uh, thing. Uh, Wolfie is going to actually attempt to bite at it. Just bites through it. Uh, you watch as he, uh, basically, yeah, bites through it. Uh, but it looks like if he did, if it was there, it would have chomped on something. But you see Wolfie kind of very confused that he just bites onto basically air. My bad. Tapo. It is now your turn. Um. You know, the thought that this might happen did go through my head. <laughs> But I was like, no, maybe, you know, surely it'll like send it to another dimension or something. I'll suck down my potion of healing. Okay. Glug, 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 glug. You can go ahead and roll your hit points for that. So a 2d4 plus 4, I believe. Nice, 6 hit points. Cool. And. Tupo's gonna disengage and take a few steps back. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, is that your turn? Yep. Okay, it is now the creature's turn. You watch... Yeah, let me roll this first. Nice. Is uh, my you watch... still stuck in his neck? Uh... Okay, so technically speaking, uh... You're kind of just holding a the glaive there. If you, like, pull back, then, you know, there's not much resistance oh, to it. Oh, I thought you said it still had resistance to it. I mean, there, there was some resistance to it, but, like, it doesn't feel like you're doing damage. Um, even in this, like, ethereal form or whatever it's in, uh, you could still see it kind of bleeding from, you know, where you stabbed it. Um, however, everything, I will say, tuple the arrow that you shot, at it earlier, that crit, it, it, it has fallen to the ground. Um, and uh, you, uh, Dinri, you watch as it once again opens his mouth ever so slightly and begins to no, charge. No, 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 no. Another, not so dark this time because it's kind of ghostly, but you can see, you can make out like the outlines of this energy as it blasts it out towards you. Fuck oh, off, man! And it goes right through you. Uh, Good thing it didn't aim at flame. Uh, and it now, in a semi confusion, attempts to swing its tail at Mayon, which again goes right through him. And then it gets to roll a. Wait, I'm gonna constitute same throw, see if it succeeds. It does not. <laughs> We're Mayon. in a stalemate now. <laughs> it is now your turn. Uh, Let's just pump up flame to beat the so, shit out of it. Pretty much. Would those attacks count as movement within that 10 foot radius? What, 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 what huh? Sorry? For my halo of spores. Your halo of spores? Uh, you're trying to halo of spore it. Yeah. I mean, well, it, it tell me, okay, so it tell me started its turn in your space. So if you wanted to hit a little sport, you could try. Oh, yeah, I want to try. Okay. So it doesn't gotta work. gotta make Elps, okay, fuck. I I'm think out of I, ideas, guys. <laughs> yeah, I turned it into a ghost, sorry. You fucked up, man. I had a whole plan set up. <laughs> look, look, I was very interested to know what this Venom did, and we found out. Look. You just, like, fucked up my whole plan, man. I was about to do well, some big damage. Think about it. Now we've got time to completely surround it so that when it does come back, we can beat the shit out of it. But it can also just walk right through us. I mean, uh, let's just keep keep up with it then. You know, just surround it and fucking... Hey, Flame, do you want to beat the shit out of this thing? See, I'm, uh, I'm trying, man. Can I ready an action for when it... Yeah, yeah, you can. Uh when it like you know doesn't are you reading like an attack or something or anything yeah, I'm in specific readying, i'm reading uh my s a staff for an attack okay i want flame to jump off the cart and elder drop uh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna bonus action shillelagh before that okay so go ahead and do that uh and then it is round three soma seeing you guys do basically jack shit to it um, is going to just hold up his heavy breaker in ready of whenever he comes back. Uh, he's gonna sidestep a little, get a little better view. Uh, didn't read. All right, well, this I'm still hurt a little bit. Oh, you and... can take the, some healing. Oh yeah, yeah the healing so spirit gonna, is technically still there. I'm gonna move it right there. Two more charges, take both. Two more charges, take both yeah. charges. Cool. Nice, three hit My points. My fucking dice rolls, Jesus. Love, love to see it. Uh, but I'm also, because I'm the one carrying it, thank God, reach into the bag of holding and pull out a potion of healing. And uh, I'm gonna use... Let's check that real quick. Can you roll a... Uh... I know what I'm reaching for. Go ahead and roll a D1... No, go ahead and roll a D100 for me. <laughs> you son of a bitch. 72. Okay. You pull out, you know, a potion of healing. Oh, thank God. All right. Uh, thankfully, not a potion of bullshit. <laughs> uh, Never know. Yeah, apparently. It look like a potion of healing, but it's a potion of bullshit. 
yeah. So I'm hoping it's not a potion of bullshit as I uncork it. Chuck it. <laughs> Damn, a lot of bullshit yeah, coming out of my mouth right now. <laughs> All right, so 2D, it's we're doing the usual 4. 2D4 plus 4. I believe. I might be wrong, but I believe that's what it is. Cool, cool. All right. Doing much better now. Uh, yeah, 2D. I would have been plus 2. It's fine. Um, oh, okay. I'll just take the... It's fine. Two. People tell me all the 4-2. I don't care. Uh, it's fine for now. We'll, we'll, we'll used, fix it in the future. The goblin wish <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, anything else you're doing? Uh, I mean, would you count that as a bonus action, or do you want that to count as an action since I had to reach on the bag of holding? Uh, I, in telling into the bag of holding, I would say would have taken an action. Yeah, so that's my turn. Okay. Uh, next is Flam. Flam is gonna, once again, uh, attempt to, uh, I guess, take your suggestion and fucking, like, elbow jam it. Fuck yeah, jump uh, off that car! <laughs> 14 to, well, I mean 14 plus whatever bonus it is, which would have been an extra plus. You have three people. Two, one, AC is 14, yeah, so that bonus is, yeah. So, it does hit. Hell yeah. For an extra point of damage, because he doesn't roll that damage. Try your best. <laughs> I'm trying, man. You I, this, man. It, I it's it. It's doing something, I think. Oh hell yeah, it is. You look cool as shit. It, that, I never thought I would be fighting something. Uh, and Vanless, I just want to get your turn. Still ghostly look. Uh, yeah, it has not changed. Literally just holding my action. Everyone's holding an action. Bumpy's staring them down. As soon as it's there. Wolfie is going to start barking again. Uh, Tuppo. Tuppo. Very nice. Uh, Tuppo. Is that Tuppo, it? Tuppo. Is that it? Uh, Tubbo? Continues holding action. I will say at this point, are you all just going to be holding your action until it comes back? Since that's basically what we're relying on at this point. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. yeah. Uh, so, on this turn, since, again, it's going to... It's going to once again charge its beam again. And uh, once again, it's gonna target Flam this time. Rest in peace, Hump. Rest in peace, Flam. Flam does exceed. And a damage was a low one. Uh, how much uh, health does Flam Can I technically speed? use protection because it's attacking or no, because it's a ghost? Uh, I mean, it's not gonna do much, no. Normally it would have been. It would have worked though. Normally it would have worked. Um, but with that damage, you watch Flam as you know, basically a hole goes through him, but it quickly just comes back as he semi kind of grunts in pain a little, but he looks pretty fine. Um, and then we roll our con save. Okay, at this point, the very hurt creature fades back into existence. So, uh, who was holding their action for this? Didn't we? I believe, I believe everyone Me. was holding their action. Yeah, uh, I was not. I had to use up mine for the Okay, game. so Tuple, were you holding your action? Yep. Okay, so you and Xanlis and Mayon, whatever attack so, roll oh, so thing or your uh that you guys were going for, your searing spite's technically still there. Yeah. Uh go ahead and you all can roll uh attack rolls. 
Uh, Soma is technically also participating in this as well. Uh, heavy breaker. 14 plus 3. That would be. Okay, so. Uh, plus the 3 would be yep. at 13. Maybe it's 17. Oh, I got a lot of dice to roll. Uh, I will say at this point, because, you know, basically everyone has hit. Uh, how do you guys want to do this? Since uh, oh, yeah. it is basically mauled to death. As you guys I'm... basically waited for it to come back and <laughs> yeah, all cut welcome. down at the same time. <laughs> I'm unleashing a bunch of toxic spores. Okay. As I hit it. I'm literally taking my my long sword and since I'm using great weapon master to just fucking really slice clean down that on it. I'm just taking the tail, hundred percent. You're taking the tail off? off. Okay, Fuck nice. Uh Tepo, what are you're shooting your bow at it? Uh, and so much Shoot awesome. it in the face. Shoot it in the face. Very nice. Uh, okay, so uh, you and guys Denry cut its just, tail off. Uh, just holding hearing smite too and like cock rises as it cuts off. <laughs> just God rises. Oh Jesus! Fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinner is just two thumbs flame. up. <laughs> uh, Tubbo, you shoot a nice clean arrow. You know what would have been in his mouth is now in his snout. Uh, Soma gets a nice, you know. Also, nice throat shot in there from the side. Uh, May on you smack it. I don't know where do you want to smack it with your staff. Right on its noggin. Noggin. So three of you are basically aiming for its face, um, and it basically drops right then there. The smell oh. is still Please. really bad. Uh, Tub, I believe at this point you would have been yeah. So. It already just gone off you. You're no longer poison, Tubbo. That would have been, I think, a while ago. Um, and, oh. you know, obviously your half movement, you already you didn't move that far either, so that's fine. Um, either way, it's dead. Holy uh, shit, that was awesome. I want its tusks. I was actually going to take one of them. You want to split it? Yeah, we'll split the tusks. All right, and anyone who wants, like, some teeth or shit. All right. You know, as a trophy of this glorious battle, I'm gonna cut the crescent moon shape off of its tail. Oh, absolutely. All right, I'll get to work on removing those tusks. Perfect. Also take an eyeball, cause you know- Uh, I mean, that's gonna go bad though. You... I got vials. Well, we do also have a chest in this bag that can preserve stuff in it. Although I don't know if you want to taint the food <laughs> that's already in it with that. It could be, like, it's a magical creature. Yeah, uh, but that doesn't mean every part of it is going to be <laughs> magical. Can we, like, look over this creature, see if I can get a better understanding of what it is now that it's not a threat to me? Oh, actually, okay. can I pull out my notes on this thing? Uh, yeah. yeah basically, like, Finley kind of, like, gets to work. Uh, so while, uh, so Dinri can go ahead and roll survival check for me or whatever tusk and eyeball is whatever you're trying to harvest from this, All right, let's do this odd shit. foul smelling creature um may yeah. again you don't smell shit yeah terrible well, if your guys mask, just, it's really oh, wait nice. hang on uh that'll be a plus with it's swamp a plus stuff, two yeah. Or four? yeah because if we're in the swamp uh with a plus two or plus four i don't remember what you said let me check i think, I think it it's was, plus two i think it, i thought it was plus four uh, anyways, uh, Xanlis and Mayon, what are you guys trying to figure out about this creature? Uh, Going off of, like, past experience and this, I want to, like, see if I can understand more about it. What is it? its type? Uh, it is a monstrosity. That is, that much is clear just by, like, looking at it. It's not clearly any normal beast. Uh, it's a plus four, Jada. It is a plus four. Okay, so it's a 17. Got it. Does this... Um, the stench comes from it? The stench does come from it. Is it a stench like rotting corpses, kind of? It's a mix of really bad smells. This is the best way I could describe it right now. Um. Uh, but, Dinnery, every time- that one time it shot that beam at you, you can really smell it coming from its mouth. Especially when you're harvesting oh, it at this point. You kind of like open mouth or whatever to harvest whatever the hell you're trying to do. It's just awful. Um, but 
you know, you gotten over it once, you can get over it again. It should be oh, all right. Lovely. Um, uh, but what uh, were you trying to harvest? Uh, taking both tusks and okay. giving one to Mayon. Okay, and so... I think he also wanted the one of the eyeballs for some reason. Sure. What's the name of the creature? Uh... That... I, would I have that? You would not have that. As no oh, names for the creature has... Well, from your knowledge. Well, I'll uh, just give it its own name. Yeah, so if you want to give it a name... Uh, you can go ahead and do that. So you two know this thing? I say as I rip one of the tusks out. Well, yeah, uh, this thing kill killed ha like my entire village, plus some other things. It killed my party as I ran away. I pause for a moment. Neat, and I go to rip out the other one. <laughs> uh, quick, quick note for you guys for a quick information thing. Uh, it was more than one when you guys uh, got wrecked by it. Or village yeah. got wrecked by it, so. Yeah, there was like three or four. I don't remember entirely how many there were, but I was kind of focusing on surviving. No, multiple moons was crazy enough. Um. Anyways, what is the party doing now with this awful smelling creature right next to you guys we, in the midst just, uh, of the night? Should we just tip this thing into the water so we don't have to smell it? Mayon. Probably, honestly, after I cut off this crescent moon tail thing. Mayon wants to draw a picture of this thing. You want to draw a picture? Okay. Yeah. Um, Xanlis, I guess go ahead and roll an attack roll for me. Honestly, you already cut its tail once with the other attack, so I'll say you already cut it off. Well, I cut the tail off at like the base. Oh, of the so yeah, so you can idea. cut it's it off. Like, I'm work. literally just trying to take. The uh, yeah, so you can. Off. I'll say either roll an attack roll or roll survival. I can help him Let's if he needs a, it. A fat attack. That's Holy fuck. Nice. Oh. It was nice. Really Pinpoint nice and clean precision. cut. As you know. You go ahead and cut it off. That. And the light on the, the tail dims. Wield that long sword like a fucking scalpel. <laughs> you know I've got practice. I can tell. Uh, uh, so it was lit while it was still attached to the body, even though the tail was. Or it was it attached was to the tail. Still but not the body. It was still glowing when you cut off the base of its tail off. But as you cut off, like, the tip of the tail off, it significantly dimmed. But you know, there's still a bit of light coming off of it. Okay. So. I'm gonna put that away. After, uh killing this odd looking creature and along with whatever else is in the waters what is the party doing well uh i mean yeah and push it in the water and i think we all want to go back and get some z's yeah all right push in the water and try to go back to sleep okay so uh you know, I'll say given time. I guess roll stream check for me. And if anyone's helping, you can either do it at advantage or everyone can roll. I'm also uh, helping. Okay, I'm so you can you just go ahead and roll strength checks. As you guys begin to push this into the water. Christ. Uh, Mayon, you know, roll. it's not it's not great. Bumpy's helping. <laughs> Bumpy's Bumpy Bumpy helping. Roll. Bumpy's Bumpy's helping out. He's kind of like kicking it away, kind of slowly trotting it away. Uh, it's helping. It's working. Uh, and eventually you guys get it into the water. Time to pollute an ecosystem. With a nice a little <laughs> splash, it sinks. Pretty uh, far I'm deep. I'm sure some fish will eat that. Might gain some weird fish powers, but... Or kill it. But something will eat it. Off in distance. If you're not planning on going for a swim around here, Denry. Mm. What is that noise? You guys hear this? Off in distance. This. 
Uh, wait a minute. That's a... Well, can I roll? Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll, uh, yeah, would... nature. I'd like to roll, too, what I... Alright, so this plus four. Oh, hell yeah. Eight and nineteen. Uh, Dinnery, you make it out to be some kind of vulture. That's a vulture. Uh, oddly enough, it sounds a bit more... bassy? It's a pretty big vulture. <laughs> As there's a moment of silence, as those of you with dark vision watch something above fly by pretty quickly. Uh, just a vulture. Just by my window as you said that. It's a big ass vulture. Well, you know. We did just kill a very smelly creature. Yeah, fair point. Um, let's see. Okay. Well, what is the party doing? I'm going back to fucking sleep. <laughs> uh, Zenless, you got you got this watch. <laughs> Sweet, Here, I'll help watch. <laughs> Once again. Don't know if it's quite the best idea to rest here, considering what just attacked him. Oh. I'm sure it's fine if two of us watch. Well, yeah, Nothing uh, bad Gar could happen. I'll, I'll, Garakus can watch with you guys, too. Once again, wait, wait, wait. as you guys prep for the sleep, you know, getting bed set up and whatnot, Again, a massive, massive, a large flying creature flies above again as it once again screeches. Those with dark vision, can you guys give me a perception check for me, please? Uh, even if we're asleep? You guys. Trance? Yeah, I mean, no, you guys aren't like sleeping, sleeping, sleeping yet. This was like as you guys were preparing for it. Uh, Topo and Mayon. This vulture does not look like a normal vulture at all. Obviously, it sounds bigger, but it also I looks know. kind of, uh, I want to say evil. Uh, you make a hint of some something glowing that's green as it flies by how high up is it uh about like 40 feet high uh i would say with uh 23 and 21 you guys it's flying pretty fast at least like 40 50 feet can i try and chill touch it you want to try chill touching as it goes by yep okay i would say Go ahead, yeah, go just go ahead and roll a chill touch attack for me. Ah, fuck. Uh, you go oh. ahead and attempt to like intercept, you kind of have to lead it as you, you know, hear it flying around and uh, crossing your guys' view. Oh, I already have it here. One second. As it flies overhead. Uh, with a 21 and 23, I'll say some of you can notice, like, a few drips of something not too normal. That's coming, probably coming from it. It's not red. What color is it? Can we make it out? Um, I'll say for that one, give me a perception check. Oh yeah, by the way, as this is happening, considering how much damage we took from the last creature, I'm going to take out the, uh, I know you're going to make me roll for it again. What? I'm roll with it. Hang on. Their health potion? Uh, the two gems of poison shielding. Okay. 
I mean, you pull those out just fine. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is it just... All right, you know what? It's fine. I pull him out and I toss one over to Tuppo since he almost died from that one hit. Thanks. Uh, looking at Tuppo, he already has something floating on his head. Oh, is that poison? He could try to uh, attune to a different element, but... Do you want that that one or should I give it to someone else? He has one that's basically fire, I mean, right? So I'll yeah. take it. I'll, I'm not gonna use it now. Put it in my oh, bag. I'll know. give it some someone else, and if we don't need it, then uh... Uh, all right, fine. All right, who who wants this other one? Who's here? You go, Bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say maybe Soma, since I think Soma's squishy too. Can a horse attune to something? <laughs> I mean, Bumpy takes it. No, okay. I don't know how Bumpy. He I mean, it? here's the thing, right? Technically, he. You don't have to tune to it, but like holding it works, but tuning does work better. Wait, we can just move him up and give it over to Soma. <laughs> uh, okay. So Soma okay. turns his head to Soma and hands it up. And Soma has. Oh, whoops. Alright, so what does this do exactly again? So I have it on my nose. Um, whether you're holding it or having it tuned, which means you don't have to actually hold it, you can use your reaction to reduce the damage by that type. By a default. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's, again, like if you if you tune it, you don't have to hold it. it kind of just floats. Okay. We can all look like sim characters together. Apparently. I mean, I guess I'll start tuning to it unless it seems like this is probably gonna fuck that up pretty soon, though. Okay. Uh, uh, so do I notice the color? Uh, the color, yeah. Uh, it seems to be a bit purple. I will say, <laughs> hold on. Let me just pull this up real quick. Uh, check. Let me remove. It's this thing now let me roll this thing okay you know if i could see it i could sh maybe shoot it out of the sky i have a thing that would let me hit it for sure and uh i look over at tuppo we also have a little something else that could maybe oh have yeah we do juice to it. <laughs> you uh you want one of these well we i need to be able to see it first like i have to see it uh well, you, you might want to get your arrow ready well, yes, but hang on. I have an idea that might help me see it. Could I try to time my produced flame and like chuck it up in the air as it's flying by so I technically see it? Okay. Like, is that a thing that would work? Do I uh, think that would so you work? Basically, you want to like throw produced flame at it, not even to attack it, but just like enough close enough just to up see in it. Just like a flare, yeah. basically. Uh, yeah, that I works. Okay, so before I do that, I take out the arrow I plan on using for this uh, it, it, that has wait. one of my teeth on it, yeah? I, I, if you're gonna do something, I can do the flame thingy. I mean, I, as long as I see it within one minute, that's basically, I've got a timer on it, so we're preparing the arrow, I'll chuck it up, then I'll be able to shoot it. I mean, if you want to help too, two would be better than one, probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll produce flame too. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of rope. Uh, I, mean, I might even like wind it down a little bit so it's more like twine, so I'm able to tie. Uh, hey, Tuppo, you want to hand it to me? All right, here you go. And I toss him one of the beads. God damn it! Don't throw it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. You, I'll, and I'm gonna juice the shit yeah, out I'll of Yeah, I'll say, arrow. yeah, just go ahead and, uh... Roll a dex check to tie it on and find a way to tie it on without, you know... I mean, I'm sitting here doing this. Can yeah, I you know, it's not much... Like, yeah. Uh, quick question, okay. is this where everyone's sitting for your bedtimes? Yep. Okay. This was my watch, but yeah. Um... Okay, 21, so I gotta tie it on there nice and tight. I tie it to the, uh, like, along the tip of the arrow so that the tip can still make contact, so maybe it'll go in and break. However, to be sure 
that it breaks, Jado. Mm hmm. I have a little something extra to goose this even further. Mm hmm. I am also, uh, I look over at, uh, I look over at Mayon and say, all right, get ready. And I begin, and I get my bow ready as I also cast Hail of Thorns on my arrow. Okay. And, uh, chuck it now! <laughs> throw up the Produce Flame. Okay, so you go ahead and throw up the Produce Flame. And you catch a glimpse of it. And I fucking shoot my arrow with Seeking Arrow. Okay. So go ahead. Oh, let me pull up your thing. Cause I so he, it has thing. to make a deck save against uh, that. But even if it makes it, it still is technically it's hit like by the arrow. Damage, yeah. It takes half arrow from the actual arrow itself. But everything else is still going to hit it. Yes. Let's see. If target weapon, weapon range, which is well within, it's like 600 feet. Uh, path long no. enough for the arrow to travel. The arrow target must make a dex saving throw. Dex saving throw. Okay. Uh, what's your saving uh, saving throw thing? I'm pretty sure it's using my spell save right now. Yes. And that is 12. 12. It rolled a 19. It's going to take half damage on the... Uh... Okay, so it'll take half damage from the actual arrow. Yes. So it's... Uh... Here, let me go ahead and roll the damage from it first. Okay, so this is just for the arrow. Mm -hmm. That's for the arrow, and this is for the 1d6 force damage. Okay, so it's going to take 7 damage from the actual arrow. 7 damage from the arrow. However, now... Uh... It's going to activate the Hail of Thorn. Okay. But it needs to... Another deck save? Uh, that might be just a deck save for the creatures next to it. I think it might just yes, take this so it hits. Okay. Let's see. In addition to normal effect, the target... The target okay, attack... Target, was... Yes, it yeah, has so to make another deck, another deck save. save. So... Uh, it has to be to 12. Okay, so that uh, fails. Or half so as much 10. damage. All right, ten. And uh, nice. what do you would you like me to roll for the fucking mini fireball? Uh, mini fireball is whatever half of the fireball spell is. Uh, isn't it like sixty six for a fireball? Uh, I will go look. Like, we don't have enough spellcasters that have that. I, mean, I, none of, I hope it. no one here would have it yet. No one would have that to like. Yeah, it is six or seven plus. Oh, it's eight d six or forty six. Yeah. Show me the money. Okay. Fourteen yeah. plus. Could have been. Oh no, that's pretty shit actually. Fourteen, twenty four, twenty four, and then twenty four and seven, so thirty one. Am I doing my math right? Sounds about right. Okay, so you go ahead and shoot this. Oh, it's an update token. <laughs> Turn this thing into fucking fireworks. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you go ahead and shoot this arrow. In the moment of that produce flame going up, you catch a glimpse of it as it goes by. Uh, quickly go ahead and roll a perception check for me while you're at it as you, uh, you know, eyeing it down. Do I see this arrow just. Nat 20. That's funny, very nice. Uh, looking at this creature as it flies by, something in its mouth seems to be, I don't uh -oh. know, growing. Um, but you know, you go ahead and shoot this arrow out. Uh, and you know, the produce flame lasts only for a bit and then it doesn't go as high anymore. And then it disappears. But the fireball. And then off in a distance, you know, about like, yeah, let me get an, let me get a ruler out real quick. About like a hundred something feet out there, uh, you see a small little fireball erupt as the creature just <laughs> cries even more, <laughs> and then in a moment it flies over once more. Looking oh, at it, those with third vision, looking at it, it looks pretty burnt but the thing in its mouth is there's even more of it uh, whatever it is in its uh, mouth is uh, coming in more uh, circle of blasting the circle of blasting as you as it comes down okay yeah 
go ahead and roll i believe scorching rays what the spell is on yeah. that yeah oh what level is it so i'm gonna yeah the scorching ray with a four that does not hit you oh. do do three oh. though make a range attack spell okay so do one more uh d20 plus three or minus uh, three the fuck? also plus it's plus five as well yeah why is it minus three in your attack mod in there that's weird Okay, so seven plus five. I don't know why why there's a minus three to your attack mod there. Uh, so plus five. So seven plus five is twelve, and then to the what's the other one? Fifteen plus five, and then you have one more. So the, do another d twenty plus five. Good lord. Okay, plus five plus my uh, spell attack rate. Right? Uh, no, it's just plus five. Oh, I thought it was just... wisdom. Five. I don't think it's gonna hit. Uh, While they're doing this stuff, can I move a little towards it? So yeah. I mean, it's flying. In this moment, we're like kind of slowing down time, but it's flying over the party. As the circlet blast it goes, there's three rays of energy that burst out from the circlet, and only one of them hits. I just want to check. Yeah, so only one of them hits. Uh, so do you want to take that eight damage or do you want to re-roll that? I'll take the eight damage. Okay, so it takes another eight fire damage. Very nice. I'm clicking the wrong thing. Very cool. And as it flies over, at basically 60 feet every six seconds, 10 feet, 10, 10, 10, 10 things a second, uh, it's going to spray out this breath of like this purple greenish fog just a mix of it as it comes down onto the party it kind of spreads with the speed that's going kind of spreads out a little uh can i have everyone i say 15 foot cone uh that would have been yeah no that would have been everyone uh, can I get everyone to roll a constitution saving throw for me, please? Constitution saving throw... Shit. Wow, wow. Shit. Wow. Good lord. I'm wow. holding the poison stuff in my hand. The poison, uh, And you gave resistance. it to Tupper, right? Tupper's something he's holding uh, his, too. No, uh, Tupper gave it to oh, Bumpy, gave it to who gave it to Soma. Okay. So, Soma needs to make his constitution saving throw. Oh, he's fucking fine. And How he's... much time would have passed since, since the what? Uh, killing of that other beast? Killing of it? Uh, I'd say a good, like, 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, God. So that's down. Fuck. So, as it flies over, uh, everyone that failed, which would have uh, basically everyone but Soma, I believe the Soma's role is not showing up for me for some reason. I can yeah, go ahead and 21, yeah. Uh, everyone but Soma takes 15 points of poison damage. Yeah, actually. Uh, that one uh, for if for you are gem. taking, if you're using the poison resistant gem thing, go ahead and roll a d4 and you could subtract yeah. the damage from that. Sick. So you said 15. 15 minus 4, so you take 11 points, then we take 13. Fucking 15. And a Soma takes, and if you succeeded, you do half, which is only uh, Soma here, which would have been seven minus his D4 since he's holding that, which is a nice four damage to Soma. Uh, quick thing to check with Mayon. Man, you have an acid shield. Acid and poison selling two different things. Oh, uh, fuck. That doesn't work. So you have Takes to... Takes full 15 then. Yeah. Oh, so it flies by. Um... Okay, I have to reset this because why is it doing this? Okay, we'll do that. Uh, so it flies by. At this point... What is everyone doing? You guys were getting ready to sleep, and this thing was just kind of circling above, screeching at you guys. 
Uh, I'm gonna ask one of them how fucked up does it look now after the fucking fireworks I just shot at it. Uh, I gotta, do we have to roll another perception check? Uh, I will say from, wait, let's see. Uh, yeah, so roll another perception check, because that was, uh, after that attack happened. Everyone will yeah, yeah, so Xanus and Toby, if you guys want to look at it, go ahead and roll perception as it goes by. Um, so yeah, uh, there is an arrow sticking out of it. You don't see blood coming out of it, era. but you know, it is, it, it's a black bird when you first saw it, minus like the face area, but it's even blacker now and it seems to you lost any feathers there's a bit of feather loss um i'd say it, it's having some trouble keeping you know the max flight going uh, technically i could do it again <laughs> you could uh How close is it still i will say at this point uh I mean, it's just gonna keep going every. Se it's gonna go ten feet a second, but. All right. Wh what's the consensus? Do I do it again? Yeah, just fucking do it again. Uh, top. Do you want to? Do, do you really want to blow that last beat on this, or do you want to hold on to it? Uh, my precious. All right, then I'll just uh, I'll do without the beat this time. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing as before. We're gonna toss toss up the produced flame together. I'm gonna fire off a uh, seeking arrow with. The God, it's my last spell slot, so I fucking hope this works. Because okay. I won't be able so to heal anyone. So you toss up the produce flame. Um, I mean, technically at this point, it's not flying towards you guys at all. It hasn't circled oh, wait, around flying away. Um, But you toss up the produce flame, redding your arrow. You didn't see it. Yeah, let me just remove this out of the thing. Wait, does it sound like it's not even flying... You still, like you still hear it flying, but you didn't see it when you uh, tossed. Well, produce flame is a cantrip, so let's keep this shit rolling, gang. Okay. <laughs> just uh, fire them up and You're just going to keep burst. tossing produce flames up. Yeah, uh, might as well. Those with dark vision, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Again. I can't roll for <laughs> Xanus is not having a good day today. Not a good night at all. Also, I'm gonna cast... What are you gonna cast? My, uh, healing Spirit. You're gonna cast your right Healing Spirit Right okay. next to me and Denry. Uh, not a bad idea. Tupo. Yeah, here, let me... There you go. Uh, Tupo... Let's see, what can you see? Uh, Tupo, at this area occasionally you'll see the produce flame go up how how much light does produce flame give here i can tell it it gives is it 20 20 or 10 10 uh 10 10 10 10 okay uh so uh generally especially those third event you guys can you know you notice this vulture is avoiding the light it's where's it you. avoiding and i'll angle it <laughs> It casts it and you know, like you cast it and you know it, there's a fire in hand and you toss it up and it is just you know really keeping its distance. Uh, I'm gonna ask one of them to point like, so is it basically it's circling now? It is circling even with those with dark vision. You can occasionally see it. I'm gonna uh, use lay on hands. Okay. And give Tapo seven health. Okay. But Tapo. Oh yeah, didn't we take your uh, healing? Uh, yeah. yeah so everyone will do uh, a single round of healing on that. So you could lay on hands that. Gonna... Then do your D6 for your healing spirit. Give myself the other eight. And uh, I'm gonna. Ah oh, shit. All right, so what's uh, what's our game plan here if it's not going to be close enough for me to even see it now? Uh, like I said, I don't think it's a good idea to stay here. Maybe we should uh, move on. Yeah, All right, well, get going. you guys 
keep uh, preparing. You guys get the camp ready to move, and I'll just keep chucking this produced flames to keep it at bay. I guess that's what we'll do. Okay, so you guys begin to pack up while. Uh, I think it's ready to be hit. Uh, yeah. yeah. You guys begin to pack up as one of you. Yeah, so you can heal your D6 while you guys are packing up. Whatever uh, all of that healing is. And that'll be. I'm pretty much back in full now. There are nuts. All right, I have to message this real quick. Yeah, that healing spirit gone. And I got no nothing. Okay. As this vulture circles um I, I need to copy paste it again but um you would hear another set a second vulture has joined the circling there's a second vulture there is now a second vulture that you can All clearly right, hear Let's pack it up. As you guys <laughs> are packing leave. up. Uh, Shadow, stop making me fight stuff at night. <laughs> you, you do have a torch, you know. It's raining. You know, you can cover it with something. Cover with your, uh... Your, uh... Yes, I'll cover hammock. it while I'm shooting my bow. <laughs> I'm gonna richly cast speak with animals. While wow, everyone's backing up? No. <laughs> uh, as you guys are packing up, as these uh, vultures are flying over, uh, occasionally a few, you know, black feathers do fall down into your vicinity. But as you guys keep packing up, where are you guys going? I think east was the general consensus. We came from the west, so we would have to go like south to east. Uh, we came from, s we were going southwest. We gotta go south, or northeast. Yeah. No, we need to go southeast. We came from the west. We came this way across that yeah. originally. You guys were heading northeast, where you guys were basically semi-chased to this place. Uh, but yeah, your original no direction was northeast. Here. Yeah, no. so we definitely got to go south. Yeah, okay, go southeast, and then we'll cut her back up more north. Okay. So you. You know, hitch the wagon up. Begin to get going. I'm just gonna move bumpy and switch. Yeah, I got it. There you go. So you guys hitch up and you guys head south. Yeah, the only way that we can see that we can yes. go. Okay, so you guys begin to head south. And obviously off the map you guys go. And then I'm gonna switch to a uh, good old horse carriage layer. Hell yeah. As we uh go into the realm of imagination. Okay, so you guys are now traveling south. If you've gotta readjust yourself on this layer, go for it. Uh these vultures are still overhead, just really screeching constantly i'm gonna change the background color so i don't burn my eyes out don't mind me um i'm also gonna go quickly pull flam and wolfie and their token over so i can actually click on them 
Uh, but you guys head south. Whoops. With the vultures in tow, and uh, Denry, are you still throwing flames up constantly? Uh, yeah, pretty much, just to make sure, partially to keep them at bay, and also so I can fucking see. Okay, so you guys head south. At some point, you do find your way. Are you guys trying to go northeast? Trying to get back to town. Southeast, then, from where we are. It's southeast, yeah. then. Okay. So you guys were at first heading northeast, and now you guys are heading southeast. You guys continue to move Kinda southeast. Kind of terrain block to... Uh, or generally southeast, you guys, you know, hop whatever islands you got. Sometimes the water kind of comes up to your ankles, but... Uh, you guys manage to, you know, get across some watery areas. Well, the vultures still following us, the or are they staying are near? The vultures are still following you guys. God damn it! But you know, after a slow bit. You can still hear the flapping occasionally through through the rain and the light wind. Their screeches kind of die down a little. But you can still hear them flapping. I don't have flapping sounds, but they are still there. As you guys continue to move, oh, well, at this point, southeast across some... Uh, Odd terrain and others. Alright, so if they've stopped, then I'm gonna like slow down how often I cast it just so I can see. They it. are still there. You don't hear them, but you can still hear the flap. Yeah, so I I, I just slow down how often so I'm not constantly raising okay, my okay, hand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you uh decrease the rate of produce flames you make. To a rate of who knows how many, but it's definitely less than before. And you guys keep going. And hopefully, generally southeast, you guys will make it out of the swamp in who knows how long. But in the midst of the dark, with only those with dark vision technically leading. <laughs> As the rest of you are basically blinded, which is only Denry and Soma, um, you guys keep on going. Xanlis, can you go ahead and make a a perception survival? Yeah, no perception or survival check for me. And I'm using oh, produce so flame and green rolls have been trained. I've been using produce flame every now and then. I could help on this. Although yeah. I don't think he needs it. You know, it's it's. Is Ooh, there a range on produce flame? Is there a what you... distance of how far you can throw that, or does it not say? Uh, I think it's like thirty feet. Okay. Let me check. E da, da, da. thirty feet. Yeah. Thirty feet. So thirty feet out, you can get technically light out, out to fifty feet. Uh, your party member's dark vision range is 60 feet, so it is not really helping. It's more for me. <laughs> it's really more Something for the rest of the party that can't see in the dark, so they get an occasional, like, spooks of, you know, some animals that are, uh, I'm jumping about. every animal within <laughs> fucking hundreds of feet. You occasionally hear in the water, there's something swimming. Mm -hmm. Glad that I didn't jump into the water earlier. The flapping of the vultures are still there. And you guys keep on walking. How long are you guys going to keep on walking for? 
Uh, about what time? Do we, how long has the sun been down? Do you think? The sun. Uh, go ahead and roll a survival check for me. Survival plus four. So that'll be a twelve. A twelve. Uh, it's been. Or, sorry, no, a ten. A ton. Because it's adding the two on there already. Okay, I would say you you might guess that, you know, it's been maybe an hour or two, maybe longer, uh, since sundown. So, do we want to march for about, uh, eight hours, or...? <laughs> sundown would have been, I think, I believe I said at around six o'clock. If you need a time frame. Yeah. I think. Let me check. Did it's I not quite safe to, to stop and do nothing with that poison acid whatever raining from the sky. Yep. But I mean, I can't stay awake and do this forever. Uh, sorry. Sundown would have been seven. At this okay. point. Eh? I mean, it's... <laughs> and it's been <laughs> maybe an hour or two since since the sun's gone down. I forgot to blink. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess just keep going for a while. Do I see the vultures? Every once in a while, yes. They are still keeping, like, a decent 60 feet out. If not more, okay? Like, technically, usually more, but occasionally... They come with, like, on the border of a dark vision range where you can, like, momentarily notice it. Uh, next time it comes into my dark vision range, I'm gonna try and chill touch it. Okay. What if we, uh, how about we do this? You keep using your little fire nonsense to keep them at bay, and the rest of us can maybe cut some trees and build a shelter to protect us. We'll build a house right now. Like a, a hut. <laughs> a little shack, yeah. A hut that'll like, yeah, like a shack or a hut that'll like block whatever the thing they're spitting out at us is from above. Uh, I know that Mayon can also help with the produce flame. So we can like swap around as needed. But yeah, I mean, if we need to stop, then... To wait out till some... Oh, look, they're getting close again, and I start chucking it towards them. <laughs> but yeah, no, occasionally I mean, they'll better. screech a little, but not much has changed. You hear a few frogs. You hear a few... Any explosions? No explosions. Uh, I will say, go ahead... Someone, go ahead and roll a... D twenty for me to decide future events. I think Topo should. Topo, go ahead and roll a D twenty for me to decide future events. Four. Okay. Fair bet. Uh, hmm. Topo, why? Hey, you said I should roll it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's my fault. Um, so you guys keep on going. Or are you guys building a shack? What's going on here? I think building some sort of shack would be the best idea, but you know, whatever the team decides. Uh, I do need to sleep. I, could I will say, even as you guys are attempting to keep on going, uh, Xanlis, you know, from the night before, Bumpy's be already very tired. So you guys are like are oh, traveling pretty slowly if you guys are going to keep on going. Yeah, sounds about right. All right. Yep. I'll just keep chucking up while they do that. Uh, and if they need assistance, Mayon can trade out with me. I mean, that should be okay. So you guys begin, what, chopping trees down? Chop 
fucking trees, go do a little, like, okay. shack thing. I mean, there are planks just kind of around, seemingly. That too. Um, occasionally, yeah. Uh, so go I still ahead. Have one in the bag of holding. Yeah, there's that too. Uh, go ahead and uh, can I get a group survival track as you guys attempt to uh, build a little tiny shack to uh, you know make do with. Uh, so that'll be an eight for me. Listen, all right, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, double twenties. <laughs> double twenties and ten really shit. As you can see, I uh, do have a strong arm. I can chop some more. And, and let's I see what Soma this. <laughs> Come on, Soma. He has a Get clean it. zero on this. But I say with wood carver's tools, I'll give him a little bonus to that. Um, but yeah. Since it is woodworking. And he does yeah. have wood carver's proficiency. Holy fuck! Okay. Three wow. nat 20s on this check. We, we have, build a cabin. We yeah, build a log <laughs> cabin. Yeah. Uh, without the, your hut sites a little bit. You know, than that. like you guys castle. don't exactly have, <laughs> you know, the greatest tools to work with, but hey, he's got you know, some with good work with your glaive, with the longsword, with all of the utilities that you guys have, you know, clobbered up from. From the bag of holding and the loot that Flam has, you know. Conveniently find a hatch. Conveniently gave you guys. You know, there's a small saw in the wood carver, so it's, it's really helping. Um, it goes by, you know, much quicker than, you know, it would normally go. Um, so, if uh, I will say with three nat 20s and two not so greats, uh, I would say it cuts down on time significantly. Um, it takes about an hour, an hour and 30. And you guys get a decently spacious shack going. Um, obviously, it's not like some luxurious room, but you know, you have a decent floor, so the rain's not, your, your floors not get soggy. You have a decent roof. So you're not getting rained on and you know considering you guys had dealt with the vultures a little you know you put a little uh leave shingles on it to uh hopefully get rid of whatever it is on that hey guys you know we didn't have to go through all this effort we could have just flipped the card over no that's don't want to ruin the card yeah what the hell the card's already fucked no, we got like the nice wheels on it. Yeah, like someone's like, hey, I, nice I fixed wheels. it already. We got three yeah, extra yeah. wheels too. How are all of us going to fit under the cart? I mean, well, Denver's did... pretty big and the cart's kind of short. Yeah. Well, how do we all fit inside the cart? The because we can stick out the top. I mean, I'd fit in it, but at least the dog would fit us, in it. At least four of us would the fit Flam inside. could probably fit in it. Yeah, my yeah but head he could go it. through it. <laughs> <laughs> go through it too. <laughs> Pretty sure Denry can fit. I, I don't think see. Bumpy would fit under the car. I would, we would have to like lay down horizontally, and given the size, I would have to be in the bottom. Uh, I'm not a bottom. Yeah, it, <laughs> I beg to differ. But we're power gonna, bottom. Anyways, <laughs> he can't even fit. Bumpy can't even fit in the shack. We need to build a place for Bumpy now. Okay, we're not. Don't worry, we're building a space for Bumpy. Come on. <laughs> oh, God, we're building a. We're building a stable all around. Here. I will say, like, just, with just this small one. shack you guys have built, there's enough room. Maybe not comfortable, but enough room for Bumpy to, you know, take shelter, so he's not just soaking out there. Um, you guys have enough horse feed. You guys have enough food, especially in the yeah, chest of preserving. Uh, yeah, you know, you do. You pull a little Valentine here. Off. You know, you get a little hole in the oh, top yeah. for the smoke to get some out. Ventilation. You uh, you know, dry some wood. It, it it takes a little while, but it's you know, a wood shelter. You're gonna burn the whole thing down. It's very wet wood and it's raining. The fire will dry it eventually. You I'm know, gonna grow a bunch of mushrooms everywhere to like seal. You the think place. they just never used fires inside of old huts and stuff? They would put stone around it. Come on, where's your history at? Yeah, we just use a spot of uncovered dirt and we use that as the base of the fire. 
he you know, and I would chances. imagine our roof is not airtight, so <laughs> the smoke should ventilate pretty easily. Oh, well, it's kind of airtight now. I put mushrooms everywhere. Oh. Well, yeah, so uh, I guess Mayon here uh, put some insulation with his mushrooms here and uh, covered any small holes that, uh, that might exist. Why don't I just light the shack on fire? No. Fuck off. All right, so we got shelter. I think it's time to get some rest. I am almost out of spell slots. I'm dry out of magic spores. And uh, I have no, I have one magic arrow left. So I would very much like to get some rest. And maybe uh, actually make it through the is night. Is anyone keeping watch? I would imagine, please. <laughs> can the the trancers can have yeah. yeah. Okay, so who's taking first watch? Again. I'll take the first watch okay. this time. Xanlis, okay, sweet. I need some sleep. As you guys attempt to get your first watch, your first half of sleeping, uh Xanlis, I'll say go ahead and roll a Perception, survival, night, pal, and I get any way you want to like, finagle a perception check for me, that's fine. But anyway, what? how are you uh, Add a D4. keeping watch? As I tab out because I'm dumb. Well, shit. A7, <laughs> alright. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm literally sitting at the entrance to our hut. You're sitting at the entrance to the hut and, you know, occasionally there's like a slop of goo coming down from the roof. I'm imagining it's like a slanted, not Minecraft flat roof. Um, you know, you get a little slant to it. Um, but, you know, uh, occasionally you just hear like a nice gooey, sloppy splat on the roof. And then, you know, give it a moment. It slides down no. off the side of the roof. Basically either in front of you or near you, like outside of the house. But... Um, you know, doesn't sound great. The vultures are still out there. Um, but given a bit of moment, even their flapping stops. Your first means watch. they're either gone or they're landed nearby and are about to fucking attack us. Your first watch ends. Mayon, you're now awake. Your long rest is technically over. It is now your turn for a long rest. Not your turn. For uh, for your watch. Xanlis is... It is your turn to go to sleep. Nighty night. Good night. Mayon. I got this. Go Good luck on your watch. And Careful with the roof. There's some goo dripping down. Ah, it'll be fine. Go ahead and roll however you're uh, keeping watch for me. Uh, um. Fuck. I, I just want to look for glowing eyes in the bushes. Or you look for glowing eyes. And in the sky. Glowing oh, eyes in the sky. Oh, that's four hours in. Okay. So. Anything glowing. At this point, about four hours into this, uh, into the watch, the rain that has been going on kind of dies down a little. It's more so becoming a, like a nice light mist that's going about. You keep your eye out for any glowing eyes. And green glowing things in the sky. And green glowy things in the sky. You don't see any. It seems quiet. Oh, Too quiet. quiet. The night continues oh, as can... the rain slowly stops and the clouds move out the way to a soft mist. Are you outside the house or are you inside the house? Uh, I would be like, like doorway. 
if you like poke Doorway, your head out. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, you occasionally poke your head out. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, you do see the moon though. The actual moon. It okay. is now an oh. actual crescent moon. PTSD. Yeah. It might give you a little PTSD, maybe. Um, but you know, it's it's not moving about. It's not being covered and reappearing behind trees, or I mean, it is, but like not in front of trees. So, you know, it is a real moon. You know, your worries kind of go away for a bit. Um, do you ever take off your gas mask? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, you take off your gas mask and the foul smell of the very recognizable creature from your past hits you as, um, you know, your party members are carrying some remnants of some of it. Including him. Inclu yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's like, oh, it's like, I kind of don't want to smell that. You quickly put your mask back on. Yeah. And you keep on looking. Is there anything else you do while you're sitting here? I will say in case I forgot, uh, is there anything else that you guys are trying to inspect from, uh, uh the, the bags? I, I probably should have asked. I... Well, uh, since he told me there's some stuff in there that it may not, that he doesn't even know about, it's not written down. Occasionally, uh, I just want to stick my hand in and randomly pull something out. Okay. As uh, he's sleeping, his hand randomly enters the bag. I mean, okay, <laughs> technically you only need to sleep for six hours and just two hours of non sleep time. Well, I mean, time, so. it's also, like, it's a long rest. It's technically a resting period. doesn't mean you just sleep the entire time. You could. If you want to do, but yeah. Yeah, but as long as long rest is really just like taking, you know, a rest. Um. Okay. So Unless you stick your hand in. Just sleep. Okay. Hold on. Did you separate the stuff that was in the cart with the stuff in the bag, or did you put them together? Uh, I separated them. Okay. So you're sticking your hand in the bag. Okay. Yep. Uh, go ahead and roll a D100 for me. We. Seventy four. 74. Uh, oh, you pulled out the gems of po poison shielding, so I can remove that. Yeah, there's a few things that aren't in there anymore. Okay. Uh, you go ahead and pull out a bear trap. Bear trap. Your huh. hand is frighteningly no. close to uh, <laughs> the, the trigger. Uh, for whatever reason, it is like in its open, like ready to spring that state. Seems dangerous, and I um, close it before I put it back in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you close it, put it back in. Pretty nice. And and then uh, I don't know if you want me to have enough time to do that any more than just once. It's up to you. I mean, if you want to do it again, sure. Fuck it. Uh, Let's okay. See. Do another D one hundred. Fifty six. Pulls out another activated bear trap. <laughs> oh shit! This activated. time the fucking hand just got decapitated. <laughs> I lose a finger. No. Uh, this time, where's the middle of the sheet? This seems about right. Go ahead and roll a d4 for me. Oh boy, that's a three. A three. Yeah. Okay, uh, you stick your hand in and pull out again, not again, this is your first time doing it, a piece, a, a coin that's mixed with gold and silver. Hang on, I know this. I, I've seen these. There's 25 of them in there. There's 24 now. 24. Oh yeah, that's right, he has one. All right, I've seen this one. I put it back, I guess. Well, I guess technically 23 since you pulled that one out. But yeah, uh, you put it back in. Okay. So it's 24 in there now. All right. Uh, 
Can I try to inspect that magic bell that I know is in there? That bell. The bell okay. that doesn't have a, a clacker inside of it. I mean, it does. It just doesn't make sound it or whatever. It just does not make sound. Uh, there's Can a I note just... that it made sound once, but it it was odd where normally it doesn't make any sound. Okay. Um, yeah, but you can you go ahead and inspect, inspect that. that. You can learn of its properties and end of the long rest. And we will have your. Uh... Is there anything else that anyone else wants to inspect before we end the long rest? If there's any items that you haven't inspected yet that you want to learn of. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look at the uh, tusk that we got. The tusk. Okay. I'm gonna inspect the crescent thing from the tail. Okay. I'll be right back. I gotta do that. Okay, so I'll do Mayon's uh, tusk thing first. All right. While you do that, I'm also gonna let my dog out again. Beer. Okay, so we will go on break real quick. So if you need to go pee, do that. Oh, toke break. <laughs> gonna clean my room. Did everyone else also go to the bathroom? I took a tope. Now that you mention it, I now do have to piss. I hate what you. What does taking a tope even mean? Taking a, uh, taking a tope? Um, it's just taking, you know, wait. Weed. Uh, a tope, not a tope. Yeah, I started calling them tope after, uh, one of the, one of them made a joke about it. Taking a toke is now taking a tope.
You gotta give me a bit longer, one second. Yeah, no worries. Oh, we are back. Hello. Hello. We do a roll call. Is Tope back? Tope is not back yet. Okay. Did you already go over man's thing? Uh, no, not yet. Because everyone had to uh, step out for a second. Damn, I led the bunk train. Mm -hmm. That's great. Uh, but I will say, uh, Tupo, you here? I think it's only Denry that's not here, right? Or Tupo. Okay. Um, is there is there anything specific that you're finding trying to fi figure out about that uh horn? Uh. No, I don't. Like, what are you trying to figure out about it? Cause I like I have information, but like, you know, my ramble on for too long. If I is it like some sort of like, uh, like an origin? Did I find out its origin? All right, back. Sorry the about the origin is from the creature. The, like the beast. <laughs> a nice bomb. Uh, put stuff in the dryer. I I would say like from yeah. earlier, you know, that creature is a, it's categorized in D and D terms as a monstrosity. Um, that bone could have been used to like, like stab things, but it was the 
when it was on its head, it's like facing towards itself. So, you know, it wasn't a great way to do things. It was a very unfortunate evolutional strategy to have backward tusks. Could it be used in any potions? Is I able to figure that out? Uh, let's check your roll real quick. You roll... Oh, we didn't roll anything for that yet. Uh, okay, so, uh, I would say for, uh, Xanlis's and Mayon's roll, go ahead and roll... Or, sorry. Never mind, no, 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 you're spending that, you don't need to roll. Uh, potions, maybe. Potion crafting is odd in some ways. Because you guys remember that potion with bones in it. Who knows what the hell those bones are from. Uh, Xanlis, what were you looking at? The crescent thing on the tail. The crescent moon of... thing, yeah. Um, looking at it, it is it 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 is magical and it is losing magic. Um, it's it, it's essentially like the light spell, and you know if you think about it, it's like angler fish with its like light to litter and prey and whatnot. Um, Are there any other magical properties to it besides its? Is there any other magical property? Let's go look. Um, I guess technically transmutation, but not really. Transmutation. Kind of. Interesting. That goes in line with what I was thinking. Do I think there's a way that I could attach this to the top of my shield? Or like fuse it in with my shield on the top? Um, I will say upper shield. This is not right. Like, a, I mean, I obviously not I right now, now, but now like, not, but I think there's a way. Um, I could yeah. Possibly. I mean, if you want it to stay light, stay lit, you might need to do some finagling with that. But yeah, I mean, if we just want to attach it to the field, yeah. I mean, I want to eventually find a way to attach it, but also bring back its glow. Okay. Do I think that's possible? Yeah, uh, yeah. Sweet. Also, I don't know why Soma's uh, character sheet decided to go off the page for me. And I can't so pull back So what did I find now. out about the belt? Uh, the bell uh, is very simple. Very simple. It only rings when there's no magic around. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so a bunch of idiots carrying magic items means it'll never ring. Uh, m more specifically, like if you're in an anti-magic field, it'll ring. If you want to go by oh. it like that. Oh, I mean, I guess I'll just attach it to my person. So if I am in an anti-magic field or something. Oh, so I ring like, okay, yeah, I can't use magic. Yeah, no, that, that works. Uh, let's see. Well, babe, the bell Tell me is there anything you're looking at before we end this long rest as um, Mayon's watching this goopy stuff fall from the ceiling occasionally. Nope. Okay. Tuppo's sleeping and occasionally blowing on his pipe. Uh, bubbles slowly fill the the little shack you guys made and everyone suffocates. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, no, Except okay, Tuppo so that's... uh he has a breathing bubble. Yeah, it's great too. Uh, so Dawn comes around and... Actually, is it Dawn yet? Okay, so technically not yet. Uh, so you guys wake up. You have your long <laughs> rest. Long but anything that resets on at dawn is technically not reset yet. But okay. honestly, I don't think anything's gonna happen. So anything that resets at dawn, uh, you guys can't basically get that back. So, uh, Xanlis, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Tuppo, tell me if you want to change your beard or not. Tuppo. And, uh... Wait, I have that. Uh, yeah, sorry, Tuppo. Uh, Dinri, go ahead and, uh... You tell me if your beard changes at all. Oh, absolutely. It's now a uh, goatee from the tip of my mouth. Uh, 
if you read some of the spell stuff, some of them only reset a D3, which I believe, uh, Tepo, that's one of your things. So if you used your Foresight ability, uh, you can roll a D3, but if you only use one, you can get all of it back. It's fine. Um, but I'm not sure. No, so you, yeah, no. So roll a, uh, roll, roll a D3 for your cool sunglasses recharge. You can add that back into your spell sheet thing. Uh, the bead of fireball you used one of. So I'll change that amount. No such item exists. Oh no. We get all the charges back. Is it going to delete all the stuff again? I sure hope not. Oh no. Oh, I forgot I even had the spell list thing. I was just doing it on my inventory. Broke. It just broke. Um, but yeah, no, it's fine. If you if you've written down the effects or not for all your items, then you know you can keep it there. Um, but if for everyone else, if you need to, go ahead and click the long rest button on your spell sheet if you have spells mainly. Uh, if not, it's fine. I will need to do that for this guy. I've noticed that it occasionally bugs out where. The cash kind of just breaks, especially on Tuplos here. Tuplos, if you if you kept track of everything, then you know you don't need the spell sheet. It was kind of just there for me to toss stuff in. But uh, clearly, it's yeah, breaking because all, all the, the items that were there, all, all the items that are there are just gone now, and I don't know why. Um, I'll have to fix that later. Uh, but you have your breathing pipe, you have your bubble in there, or you had it, not anymore. Now you just have two things, and I, it's odd. Uh, but you have that written down on your own notes. That's fine. That's great. Uh, but everyone can go ahead and click your long rest button. If you haven't already. To refresh. Your character. Let me just click that for this Soma real quick. If it wants to load. Okay, but either way, it's rise and shine. Everyone's awake. It's a nice new day. Uh, the sun is no longer up. Well, I mean, it's not up yet. Not no longer up. Uh, the sun is not up yet. There's a bit of uh, sun peering through. It's a bit of sunlight peering through the horizon. Um, but the sun is not technically up, up off the horizon yet. The day is yours. What are you guys doing? Let's get back to town. Uh, do you hear those vultures around anywhere? As of this moment, go ahead and uh, roll a perception check for me. I too shall peer out with my elven eyes. Okay, and both of you go ahead and roll perception checks for me. I'm plus two to this night. There's a worm I found on the ground. I'm blind. Uh, Xanlis, you go ahead and like peer around. Uh, you guys, the fire has gone out. And uh, it's kind of dark in this room, uh, so as long as you don't really see much. Oh, uh, I, I mean, you have dark vision, but like, it's just the room you guys made. Uh, Dinri, you go ahead and try to listen for those vir vo vultures. Uh, the vultures. Everyone stay still for a moment to let them hear. You hear some flapping. But it seems much lighter. Neat. I think maybe there's just regular vultures out there now. I think we're in the clear, gang. Let's pack up and uh, start moving. Yeah, I'm down with that. So what? Uh, let me check my notes. Lost my notes. Where'd my notes go? Ah! Or is it? I really need to Do we want to tear down this hut? Nah, we should definitely leave it. I like that. True. What if we get teleported back here? <laughs> you never shelter. know when a mushroom man <laughs> somehow comes by after his village destroys and needs a shack to live in for 50 years. True. We gotta go northeast, we right? Get to get back, to the, back to town is northeast, correct? Southeast. Southeast? Somewhere southeast. east. It just. How about we just cut it in the middle and go east? We need to hit the road that heads towards town. 
If you ever find it. Shut up. <laughs> I, I keep clicking that shit. I'm trying to like click the pluses and shit. It does like. What what spells do I have? Let's get out of this mess. You fix your uh things, Alice? I just saw your. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. I do not have speak with animals for once. Looks relatively right to me. Okay. So you guys pack- are you packing up the shack? No, we're leaving it. No, we're leaving, leaving the shack. It. Okay. Uh, so you guys open a door and look outside. There are just a nice small mound of like purple goo oh, and lovely. you know, a decent amount of feathers that are just kind of I collect on it. it. You're collect collecting the goo. Yep, with the vials. With the vials. Uh, go ahead and roll a uh, dexterity check for me. You're gonna get it on your hand. Eleven. Okay. Uh, so you managed to collect, I don't know how many vials you have in that thing uh but we'll say you you get two you get two vials of whatever this goopy thing is two vials of vulture cum and uh nice. you know you're you're careful enough to you know not touch it but you might have like touched it a little with, like a nail or something or one rick cloth but uh see no didn't hurt you. Uh, but I will say for the rest of the party, as he got as he opens his door, an awful stench just comes into the room. Oh, um, I will say everyone roll a constant oh obviously minus Mayon. Uh roll a constitution saving throw for me. I love not being able to smell. Bro, I can't roll for shit. Yeah, you got uh, this, and then your fucking Bob doesn't smell either. So, <laughs> oh, and Soma. If one wants to roll a d20 for Soma, I'll add his modifier onto it. His constitution saving modifier is... Oh. If it wants to load. At some point. His modifier is a plus four, so if someone wants to roll a d20 plus four oh, for Soma. I got it. I already did. Oh, there you already got it. Uh, so someone is only one. The smell? Uh, not really. It's it smells bad still, like the same thing as earlier. But it's there's a different. I I'll say like a different uh, kind of spicy ish smell to this one. That was like I mean you recognize it as it's the vulture smell, compared to the the creature from earlier. But those of you who rolled, oh, technically everyone but Soma, uh, it doesn't really matter, but you guys are temporarily poisoned. <coughs> As you, uh, gag and. Are y'all okay? Nearly throw up to the smell of this. You. What's going on? Pretty gross. It smells pretty shit. Here, let me roll for Wolfie, because I kind of forgot about him. Or if someone oh, else no, wants to roll for Wolfie. Nose. Uh, if someone wants to roll a d20 plus one for, for Wolfie. Do I need to roll for Bumpy? Sure. Or... You want to intentionally poison your horse? No. Or be the I mean, only one yeah, not so poisoned? So Bumpy's fine. Uh, Wolfie... Uh, you watch him kind of throw up a little, and you you notice a few bits of the good berry that you fed him the day earlier, that has come out now. Uh, Tuppo, uh, you're feeling a bit hungry. Hey, Denry, mm? can you give me some food out of that bag? Yeah, sure. You wanna? Just want a simple bead of nourishment, or do you want any fancy with it? Give me one of the whole chests. <laughs> one of the chests? 
Yeah. All right. Well, we've got, let's see. And I pull out the notebook. Well, we got one that's got 20 pounds of meat. I do yeah. not want to cook. No, we are not cooking meat around this disgusting goo. Cooking? Even I have standards. Here. Is anything about cooking? Here, hang on. I know. Here, have a, have a peach. And I pull out the one that has uh, the uh, produce in it. And I, I guess, toss them yeah. a peach and I take one for myself. Uh, that's not going to be enough, dude. <laughs> You'll be fine. Here, I'll give you a quarter a pound of nuts, too. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so you can go add that to your inventory. No, I'm going to eat all of it. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, I mean, okay, it says on your thing, so you know how much, yeah, you'll be fine. You're, okay, technically you're not fine, but you, you see what I messaged you last time, right? So you know, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so you, uh, you guys eat breakfast, and, uh, you guys, you know, pack up, get the wagon set. Uh, you kind of knock down one of the planks a little to get the wagon out. Uh, I didn't put it back. Pretty nice. Uh, and you guys begin to head off east. Once again, attempt to avoid any serious dangers. Yeah. You guys are walking and walking. Bumpy seems much refreshed than last time. Seems much better. Uh, who is leading the group? Me. At this point, you know, there's not there's enough sun in the sky. The sun has just begun to rise. It's like 5 a.m. Yeah, if those oh, vulture wait. things no, sorry. don't like light, we should be about okay. to be about to be uh the sunrise. Uh either way, uh technically now would have been dawn where uh all the effects of dawn stuff happens. So at this point, then right your beard changes to whatever you want it to be. It's a goatee. Oh god. Nice goatee on it. What color is it? Uh green. A uh, nice green goatee. Nice. Hey, Denry, I like the goatee. Thank you. I don't really understand it, but, uh, you know, I, I don't have a mirror to look at either, so I, I'm taking your word for it. Gone with a Fu Manchu. <laughs> oh, God. No, I think a goatee looks great on a crocodile. Uh, but yeah, you guys uh, keep on going. Begin to keep walking. Go ahead and make a roll to, uh, you know, Take a look around, make sure you're not lost. I mean, you guys are lost, but you know. Um, whoever's making this roll? Whoever's leading the party, which I believe you said you were, Denry. Yeah, so you want perception? Yeah. So, perception, investigation, nature, survival. Uh, All right, I anything, give myself really. guidance. Guidance. You touch yourself. Oh, I don't even fucking need it. Kind of shiny. Uh, so, that's also 25 with the other plus 25, two. and then you're not going to use guidance on that? Or are you going to use guidance on it, that? Why not? Oh. <laughs> So, All right, so 29 on on this perceiving your surroundings. <laughs> you know, it's a new fresh day. You oh, had a nice rest, <laughs> so you really, you really get a good look of surroundings. You know, you just had breakfast, and you begin to see things that you know you may have not really noticed before that were probably always there. You know. Obviously, there were the occasional alligator and crocodile coming coming about, going about. My cousin. And occasionally, you see an alligator that appears to have a a turtle shell on its back. Holy like shit! A rarity, but you know it's pretty pretty cool. You guys keep on going. You know, didn't really you really notice some like. You notice some of those those mosquito blood sucking bat things that you guys fought a while ago. They seem to be paying you no mind. They do seem and appear to be pretty red. Walking around, walking around, you guys at some point begin to notice some 
some like remnants of probably battle of some fight. There are a few corpse of the same creatures you guys had fought in the night before. Uh, which creatures? The, the, the night fight creatures, not the vultures. The moon tail creatures. Oh, those? Oh, lovely. Yeah. You guys find a few corpse of those lying around as you guys keep on going. You see a few footprints. Uh, how did, can I see if the, how they died? Like, what do they have? Uh, okay. Go ahead and roll investigation, Bray. Probably by necrotic damage, if I had to guess. Uh, looking at this, there are noticeably some cuts, some big blades like clearly like a like a sword an axe on one of them there's a few arrows sticking in one of them um let me just check something else real quick to make sure it is what i think it is uno momento as if roll 20 takes three years to load love it I think if I check this, it might be faster. Um, yeah, okay, so there are cuts. There are arrows. There is a burn mark that go, like, that are on both sides of one creature, one of them. Um, and let me check this last one. If it wants to load or if it doesn't want to load, I'll have to reopen it. Ah, oh, here it is. Um, okay, yeah, so there are burn marks, like very small burn marks. Um, there's bits of... Um, what seems to be a bits of snow on one of them. And one of them looks soaked. Soaked? As if they've been in water for a really long time. The creatures, the, the, the same creature you had fought the day before, the night before, was very much drier. It smelled bad, and it was still also a bit wet, but it was not this wet. Hmm. And there's no like bodies of whatever was fighting them. It's just the creatures. Uh, you got. I mean, there's like leftover arrows, but uh, whatever fought them is not here. I pick up one of the arrows and inspect it to see like if I can gather where maybe this was made. Uh. Okay. Yeah, if this was made um, in the swamp with swamp wood, or go ahead and make an investigation check for me. Lovely. And we'll have a plus two to this. Oh, great. Hey, Twelve. Wait. Wonderful. A hey, twelve. Oh wait, fucking uh, the 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 guidance. Yeah. Guidance. Okay. Okay, so fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, the arrows from this. I oh, sorry, the wood. The wood from these arrows? Arrows from this wood? Wood from these arrows are not, is not swamp wood. All right, guys. Got some, uh, looks like there are some other city slickers wandering these swamps. Um, Do you guys just keep walking past these very smelly corpses? Yeah, I don't want to deal with any more of the vultures, so... Okay. So you guys keep on going. Past these bodies. Uh, and... You know, it's about like... Two, three minutes later. After you guys cross the body. Uh, 
which actually that would have been much further. Eh, you might hear. Uh, let's see. Who's got the good perceptions? Who's got the good passives? I got a uh, Mayon and Tupo. After you guys walk past these, uh, or if you're riding the wagon, uh, past these corpses, you do faintly hear a very familiar sound off behind you guys. It's the... Is it the damn vulture? You guys make it out to be the vulture from... Maybe not the same vultures, but vultures nonetheless. But they're behind Henry. you. Hmm. We got we got vultures behind us. I mean, it's day, it's about to be like full on daytime, and they didn't really the like the light before. The big ones. Yeah, I know. Those are the ones that didn't like the light. Yeah, but they're behind us somewhere. Uh, I mean, I I think we should just keep moving, and once they get closer deal with them then it'll be daytime so at least i can shoot at them without having to use just magic shots oh yeah you can see now <laughs> you eh. can see now those eh, without dark vision I do suggest can actually that, see now i do suggest though if they do get closer we need to spread out a little bit so that way if they drop down and gas us again we don't all you know get sick well i got something for them motherfuckers Yeah, so, well, let's keep moving for now, and if they start getting close, we'll fan out and uh, deal with them then. Oh yeah, roger, roger. Okay, so you guys begin to keep on going. Are you guys following what would have been the trail? You guys are, like, technically also along the same path that uh the corpse led. Which is to the east. There's like footsteps and whatnot. What? Uh, can I make out what type of footsteps? What kind of footsteps? Yeah. Okay. Like go ahead and uh, go ahead and roll investigation. Yeah, investigation. Ow. No. A four. Um. You know, it could be anything. It could be the creatures from last night. It could be people it could be fish people it could be alligators land squid hey, land hey, squid Din 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 i think we might be dealing with the uh some elusive either land squids or or a polar bear polar bear right i know not what it, this polar bear is you speak of but sure i will uh it's this ancient ghost bear i see well, we can deal with it if we come across it. I think we should stick to the path that should allow us to keep a decent pace. And it is heading the direction we need to go. At least for now, anyway. And if we run into whatever did this, you know, if they killed those things, maybe they'll, uh, you know, enemy of my enemy and whatnot. Stop out. Keep a lookout for land squids. I have never seen one. I don't know what they look like. Is it, do you know what a squid looks like? I thought you said you did see one. That's why you suggested one. I didn't say I saw one. I, I've heard of them. <laughs> okay. So, are you guys following the semi trail that you guys are currently on? Might as well. Okay. You're following a trail, you guys come across a you no know, fairly short bridge made by one plank. Did and... I, can you test the bridge? Yeah, I tap it with my glaive. It seems fine. Seems fine. I mean, I'm Wait. going first anyway, I guess. <laughs> Let me know if you die. Yeah, sure. And I mean, I'll use the plank in the bag of holding so that the wagon can cross. Okay. But uh, so uh, you I'll set up... definitely go first. I'll yeah, do so that like once I go uh, on the other side. 
You set up the plank after crossing. Xanlis, go ahead and roll land vehicles. And I will say add advantage with dexterity. To uh, slightly navigate this uh, this thing. Nat 20. There we go. Nice. Uh, when I go through first. You know, you've gotten really used to this. You guys were doing this the day prior constantly. So, you know, you're just getting by. It's like it's no problem at all. Uh, but as you cross, the old piece of plank that was there basically slips and dips into the water. Uh, I grab it. You grab the one that slipped into the water? Like, it's as if it's been pulled by the... Not pulled. Like, it slipped. Like, like the, the wheel snap? of the wagon went across, and, like, like maybe traction it. wasn't great, and it kind of, like, slipped a little. And then I mean, it yeah, just, I'll like... grab it and stand on it to, like, keep it in place. Okay. I uh, stand it. It's, it's in place right now. What do you do? I mean, I'd stand there until he gets, like, right here, and then I'll move since he should be... You know, Bumpy should be able to grab onto the, the land and pull the wagon across. Yeah, okay, there you go. So, uh, nice. Nice and easy. Uh, Bumpy and the rest of the party is now across. And you're standing on a piece of plank. I, once they're all across, I put the good plank into the bag. Okay, you get off the bad plank and it basically just tips into the water and disappears. Well, see ya. And it All right. ever, ever, like a few seconds later, it just bobs back up and now floating up top to the water. The floating about, not doing much. Okay, see ya, Plank. Put you the other one in the keep bag on and going. follow back. But the, yeah, you would put the, your good piece of Plank in and you guys keep on going. You keep on walking, and the trail just slowly dims to not not much. The trail of footsteps you guys are following turns off, not turns off, uh, like turns turns in a like a pretty sharp ninety degree turn, and then just disappears. Me. Can I make a quick perception check to see if there's any th any creatures or what maybe caused those footsteps nearby? Uh, yeah. Go ahead and roll investigation. Oh, wrong one. Uh, so that'll just be oh god. That'll just be a seventeen instead. A seventeen. Okay. Um, looking around. Nothing seems out of place. The trail you guys are following, like, the trail turns, like, south for, like, five, ten feet before it disappears. But there is a, like, a semi seem like someone's been walking along this kind of path you guys were on going east even further. Um... So if you guys want to, uh, quick drawing of the awful path that we have here. Um, so whatever path this is going, going this one way and then the path the, the footsteps turns like, uh, going down here and then disappears. How many corpses of those things were there that we fought? Uh, the corpse that was back there. Uh, it's just one. Said, there was more than, there was more than there's, one. There's a few. Uh, let me check. Uh, there was about three to four of them. Whatever maybe this way might be. Uh, could be friend, could be foe, but they're clearly very strong. Yeah. Uh. I'm totally down for fight. Let's get it. 
mean, we've got all the stuff we need. There's really no reason for us to linger here. No, I agree. Maybe we should just follow the trail back to town. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Hoping it goes back to town at least. Surely it will. Well, I mean, it probably it's not a straight path. We'll probably need to turn at some point for going straight east and head south to get onto that road. But should get us at least out of the swamp. Let's do okay. Okay. There's about to be a long path. So you guys continue east. Oh, this is an ad about to come up. One second. No, it's not. Cool. Uh, so you guys uh, ignore these uh, oddly disappearing footsteps that just end out of nowhere and uh, go east. You guys keep on going. Yeah. And going and going. You know, there's a nice, there's a semi-small trail now that you guys can, you know, pretty decently follow. Um, at some point, you guys come to a slightly bigger road, road, dirt path, um, that seems to be traveled much more than the ones you guys were just on. Uh, right. At this crossroads, there is a sign. Well, what does that sign say? Uh, looking at the sign, it's like a pointed sign, like an arrow sign, uh, whatever that you know those like single plank, but like one side is like pointy. Uh, that pointy side is pointed towards your the trail you guys are on, and it just has the word danger on it. Oh, cool. Henry, what does that say? So, where we were coming from, it's listed as danger. Or if we keep going, it says danger. Jada? Yeah. I'm okay. So, sorry. Oh. Let me, uh. Where we came from is danger. Yeah. So basically, where you guys are coming from. That's what I gathered. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, uh, if it's you guys just need danger. that real quick, here, let me, uh, here's the, here's your, like, going east path right here. There's, like, a, whatever crossroad, whatever direction, I don't know. But, like, on this side, there's this sign, and you so guys are going this way, and it's yeah, yeah. No, I just needed a clarification on, like, was it danger where we're going or where it's pointed? But it's where we're coming from. Uh... I mean, we want to go south, right? If we're heading back to, uh... Because we were at the northwest of the swamp is what we determined. So we want to... Head generally southeast. But if this road just goes south, then we'll want to go that way. So south you guys go. Yeah. Following this much... Or I'd say kind of nicer. better looking path. Better um, than wood planks across the swamp. Yeah, basically. There's like a semi decently noticeable path that goes around like whatever small island. There's a lot. There's, there's still plenty of water island things. Uh, but with this path here, you, you can clearly see the. Um, the semi-made cobblestone that's very worn down, but it was there since who knows how long ago. Uh, and let me check one thing and make sure it is how I want it to be. Uno momento. The sky is clear. The sun is slowly begin to rise up 
And Dang. oddly enough, a loud thunder sound rumbles from the west side. Or I guess technically northwest since guys had trouble south. And slightly to the northwest of you guys, there's a loud thunderclap. Even this uh, oddly no cloud guy. And I guess you guys pay no mind and uh, keep on going. I think as well. Following the path, kept on going. Uh, who is leading the party? And, we'll and we're still to, uh, mostly in the swamp. In the same... Yeah, we're still in the swamp. Then I will keep on leading. You keep on going. You keep on going. Looking around. There seems to be a few slime looking creatures oozing about. Lovely. You guys, I guess, will walk around it, trying to avoid it. Absolutely. And you keep on walking. Walking and walking. walking keep on walking for, you know, the upcoming few hours. Can I get another perception check? You got it. Get him, swamp boy. We're in my home. Uh, eight. Eight? Oh. Yeah, the plus two. Eighteen. Nine. Yeah, I heard eight. I was like, huh? Um. But yeah, no. Uh, at this point, you guys are walking for. It's basically like like late morning. It's you know getting to. Uh, it's getting to noon at some point. The ground is still wet. The air is still damp. There's a soft fog that's uh, kind of uh, going about. A soft fog? A actually rain. visible fog this time. Okay. It's not, not a oh. magical fog, an actual visible fog that as you guys are walking slowly in set, in, in, set, in set around you guys, you guys can see still pretty decently far. It's not like a very heavy fog. It's fairly light. Hey, Jada. Yes? Stop fucking up my visibility. <laughs> I'd like to spend a session uh, being able to see. <laughs> I mean, you can still see. It's pretty nice uh, visibility right now. You know, the, the fog, you know, it's like early morning fog. It's not that bad. Um, but you guys keep on walking. Um, can I get someone to roll a... Uh, let me check here. A D3 and a D8 for me. Or if separately. someone wants to roll that separately, go for it. But I need one of each. A D3 and a D8. Oh, D8. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you already got him. D3, D8. One and a five. five. Okay. Is that unless it's just on top of the rolls? As you guys keep on walking. My game. Oh, what up? You good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, as you guys keep on walking, the temperature seems to drop. Don't like Along that. with the fog in setting, incoming, or it's already here, um, it's getting pretty chilly. The wind is, you know, still a decent light breeze, but with that wind blowing, it feels a bit colder than it normally would have been. You guys keep on going. 
I'm gonna produce flame in my hand. You're gonna produce flame, try to keep warm. Ahead of you guys, at some point, following the trail, which does still go south, it's not going east yet, it is going south. Um, You guys, uh, let me check the map real quick. Make sure I'm actually talking about what I actually planned for. Uh, yeah, just about. Yeah, so you guys keep on walking for you know, another hour or so. The coldness as the sun is supposedly supposed to be getting warmer is not changing. It's still pretty cold. Um, but you eventually come across a village, a very ruined village. Hey. Uh, this is nice. What does this village look like? It's in shambles. Some of the buildings are completely demolished. Some of the buildings are like half demolished, but the entire place is not in rumbles, but it's been the semi torn down. Looking around, there's no one here. How deep are we in the swamp right now? Uh, where are you trying? What are you trying to use to figure this out? Uh, survival or nature? Just trying to figure out like where we are in the swamp. Not like a pinpoint, like estimate. Um, sure. Go roll survival for me. Uh, 20. At this point, you guys have walked, you know, for a few hours. You guys are, I would say, middle-ish of the swamp. Which was much deeper than you guys had planned for. Guys, we're we're still in the middle of the swamp. Uh, does it seem like we should still be in the middle after all that walking? Given that we got teleported. Uh, after getting teleported to who knows where. I mean, you guys well, you could be walking like for progress though. Yeah. Um. You guys would still be in the swamp for. I mean, it could be a day to a week, depending on which oh, way you guys are walking. Uh, but east, you could be walking for maybe another day, or maybe longer, depending on how far you guys have gone. All right. So we we have a ruined village here. Yes. Did anyone recognize? This ruined village. Um, let's have everyone. Well, I guess everyone who was swamp hometown, go ahead and roll. Um, history. Is that yeah, twenty plus two? I will include you Does that include to me. Yes, I will include you to this. Okay, everyone got pretty good rolls. Let's play with not twenty. Uh, Dinry, you, uh, looking around, uh, there might be a few familiar sites. I'm not sure if you ever ventured outside of your village this far out. Um, heard but stories. maybe heard stories or, you know, some people from this village, maybe. Or, yeah, maybe that. Um, this village is one of the bigger villages, probably one of the 
pretty majorly traded with village that uh your village would do with occasionally since it's one of the major nearby ones um mayon you're from where you live mainly uh you know you would recognize this place from the time that you traveled out of the swamp to Bosana to uh, become a venture, but at that time, this place was not in ruins. This place was still, you know, full of people. Do, do I know the name of the village? Uh, would you know the name of the village? Uh, let's see. Would Same you? Same for me. Uh, yeah, no, didn't really you would know of it, but I'm thinking about, uh... Because if I probably would have helped maybe adventures from this place. Maybe, let's see. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, the name of this town is Ice Meat. Ice Meat? There is still a broken sign that's semi-visible with town name on it. Uh, but Xanlis, you recognize this town, but the first time and last time you saw this, it was already in ruins. Oh uh, yeah, this is nice, man. We used to trade with them a little while back. Do I remember what kind of people lived here? What kind of people lived here? Yeah. Uh, there was a semi-decent mix of people, but more swampy kind of creatures. Uh, so lizard men, crocodilians, uh, hey, what the fuck? whatever swamp creatures, I don't know. Like the snake nagas, is that what they're called? Those snake creature looking people? I'm not sure. I think I have a list of swamp races that I had. Um, but let me pull that up real quick. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, so there's trolls and those. There's a few goblins occasionally. Lizard folk, uh, hobgoblins. Mm. Uh, there still are a few humans, okay? Oh, there were a few humans here. Uh, you know, there's still a mix of humans, elves, and dwarves that roam out here occasionally, but now there's nothing. It is uh, just. How much, uh, how much daylight does it look like we have? At this point, it looks. Just about noon. Okay, we still got some good traveling in it. So unless we want to stop here and take a look around. You know, does anyone want to do that? Or do we want to keep on moving? I'm very over the swamp. <laughs> Get some in out of the swamp. <laughs> I've had bad experiences here even before you guys. I mean, I was trying to get out of the swamp for my own personal reasons before. I didn't think I'd be coming back this soon or for this long, so I'm okay with getting out of here, too. So, you guys, uh, make your way past, go through the village. The village does have basically Maybe. two main entrances, two exits, one to the north and one to the east. I mean, as we're walking through, can I, like, just make a check to see if I figure out, like, maybe what it, if something attacked this village? Okay. Uh, so, go ahead. I would say everyone, since it's pretty big daylight, and you guys are just kind of, there's nothing else to look at. Everyone, go ahead and make a perception check for me. Investigation. Either or is fine. 27. 12, 9, 25, and 8. Okay. Um... With your 25, 27, uh, I would say just about everyone, given time, because this is, you know, it takes maybe 10, 15, actually it would have been taking a long, maybe 20, 30 minutes to get through town because of all the rubble that's kind of like, kind of everywhere. Um, but with like cobblestone and wood kind of like all over the place, you gotta find a decent path for the wagon. So, you know, given time, Dinri is usually the first to notice this. Um, there are no 
there are no corpse anywhere but looking around there's there's like uh slime and oozes going about there's occasional like a crocodile that just walks through <laughs> but things that made this happen with a 25 and i will say with how big this village is um well given the size of the village um you will notice a sign a sign a um an imprint in one of the uh small bits of wood and it does i was nah, i mean you guys just fought this basically there is a shape uh, of partially big. of a moon imprinted oh, cool. in some parts that are you know fairly obvious um uh, yes mayon uh, does this look similar to the attack on my village? Attack on Titans? Uh, kind of, yes. Yeah, so guys, uh, those, that thing we fought and the things we saw dead, they probably did this. Yeah, uh, that, sh that checks. You know, this, uh, it's a good thing my village is pretty good ways from that tower. Yeah, mine's like right fucking next to it. Yeah, I mean, luckily, my village is also filled with, you know, hunters. The, you know, that's where I learned to do, you know, the stuff you've seen me do. They should be okay. Mine is filled with mushroom people. Yeah. I think your village would probably win in a war. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, we haven't had a war in quite some time. We need a war. We need a good war. I don't know about that. I mean, we had, we had skirmishes with the lizard folk plenty of times, but we always stamp those out pretty quick. Let's go start a war. No, let's not. Let's keep. Let's get out of the swamp. <laughs> let's just leave. Let's just we don't go. Need to create more conflict for these people. <laughs> Maybe they were able to chase them out after the town got destroyed and those that were left were able to chase them off. Who knows? But I don't want to stick around and find it. Yeah, it, you know, considering Oops. how one of them nearly killed Dapo and I, probably should not try to fight multiple of them. That Especially because, and I point to the cart, we do have a dog back there that we are trying to get back to town. He can fend for himself. He's a good uh, guy. I don't know about that. We found him in the spider web nearly dead. Okay, but those spiders can teleport you to another fucking dimension. Yeah, but he was, he, the spider didn't get him. He was in a web. How, yeah, how do you even get all the way up there? Probably went into <laughs> a lower web and got pulled up. Yeah. I don't know, spider stuff. Yeah. I'm not a spider hunter. You wanna go hunt spiders? Mm. No. Not really. Let's just keep going. <laughs> okay, so you guys make your way past the village, taking some needed detour because of uh, rubble and whatnot. And you guys exit the village with, you know, clearly, there were like clearly like barricades set up, but they were very clearly broken through that clearly didn't stand up to whatever, you know, whatever attacks they uh, had to try to fend off. And so you guys leave the village, continuing east for a bit longer. The sun is beginning to go down off its noon. It is now like mid afternoon or so.
you still see the occasional, you know, swamp creatures that reside here, paying you guys no mind. Managing to evade whatever is trying to, uh, if any, trying to attack you guys. You guys, uh, keep on going. Past I don't noon like the way you said that. Into mid afternoon. Who is leading the party? Can I get another perception check? Yeah, it's your thing. Come on, Swamp Man. Show me Come the on, Swamp Man. That's not right, great. Swamp Man, you're fine. That's okay. gonna be a ten. Uh looking around, you know, you don't notice any more exotic creatures from this morning. What we do know this is some remnants of webs. Oh boy, more spider web. You guys are, I, if you, I didn't make this clear already, you guys are heading east out of the village following the main path. And when you, as you guys keep on going, there are more webs. Walking around, there are occasionally creatures that are clearly dead from bite marks, from a fairly obvious large creature. Um, but you guys keep on going. Um, the sun slowly goes down. You guys keep on walking. And can I get a d20 roll, please? Who's gonna do it? From anyone. 10. Okay. That is... Ancient right there dragon. cool uh so at this point as you guys are you know walking about milling about uh trying to make your way out of the swamp back to town to safety a translucent looking crocodile crosses your oh. path this thing looks cool wait is it afflicted by that fucking venom? Looking at it, <laughs> it seems not obviously not normal. It is still walking on land, like any creature would. Um, but looking at it as it gets closer, it seems to be running away from something. And it's a fucking spider. Yeah. Uh, they, they put two and two together as uh, you see. watch it run me the it suddenly stops as it seems to writhe in pain and stop moving don't show me the spider <laughs> show us the spider it doesn't Denry is your cousin okay mm, no I think uh, I've got a pretty good idea of what happened if you want my theory. Uh, I got a good idea too, but like, can you poke him? I don't think it'll work. I'd toss a twig at him. <laughs> Do we see anything within range of us that would have been the cause? No. Uh, the, my, my theory is, you know, how this venom makes stuff like go to a different plane. Uh, the spiders are also on that plane, so it sends them there, then hunts them down on that plane. That's my theory. That's a pretty good theory, and you might just so, be right. We could test it right now, and I hold out the vials towards my on. You want me to go in alone? No, I'm just messing with you. I uh, done it. No, you would die. All right. So, 
Well, this uh, translucent crocodile is in the path right now. It was running towards you guys, but it's now stopping. It's not moving. Yeah, let's definitely. Well, what did my twig do? Did it just go through it? It did just go through it. All right. I mean, just, you know, be mindful. I mean, we're just going to roll through it anyway. It doesn't matter. It's not going to feel like it's phased out. And everyone kind of stay close, though. Yeah, just in case. And uh, this will move through it, literally. Okay, so you guys begin to move towards it. As you move towards it, I'd say you're about like 30 feet away and you're getting closer. Uh, on top of the crocodile appears a large white and blue spider. Ah, there it is. Ah. He showed us the spider. And yeah, they showed us the spider. Is it looking as it noticed us? It has noticed you guys. Certainly Does it what? care? It has a meal. <laughs> And it is currently like I, I don't know what spider sound make hissing at you guys. What 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 sounds does spider make? Uh, fucker, you've got a meal already. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, scorching ray. Oh god damn it! Okay, let's <laughs> time for combat. Uh, is this off the uh? Yes. The off the earth plate. Yeah. You have only used that once a day. And you, that was last year, so you do it again, and then there's three rays. I gotta roll. Uh, and you gotta make 7 11. I'm gonna make another d20 plus 5. I make a ranged spell attack for each ray. But yeah, because it's also strictly blasting, you use the blastings plus 5. Okay. So and let me pull up the spy. Oh, this is a 16. That might actually hit it. 20 plus 5. 16 and 11 plus 5. Uh, you telling already, you know, you only get to 16. I mean, you know, the oh. Scorching Ray click has 7 and 11. That's two rolls. And you have 16. Oh. So, one hit. Wait, uh, but one of those. Uh, uh, they still got them. It, it, yeah, the that 11 three. should be a 14. a 14 plus 5. And that oh, right, because the. Five. It's and the 10 plus out. 5. Yeah, one so second. Let me see if I can fix 19 can fix and. Uh, another 21. Yeah, let me see if I can fix this. Cause why is it minus three attack model? Where's that getting that from? Please tell me all of those hit. The spell attack will be calc, but what does that mean? 12, 16, 21. Yeah, I have no idea. So 12, 16, 21, let me check the AC. Well, no, because this roll for that seven was actually a 10, a 10 plus yeah. five. So, so 15. it'll be a 15. Okay, yeah, so all of them hit. Uh, so go ahead and roll and two more 2d6s. So just roll 4d6 because that's if you want to do that. Uh, two more, uh, one more 2d6. 10, 4, and 10, 14, 3. So 14, it's also 17. It's 2d6 plus 4, so it should be 4 plus 4, 8, 3 plus 4, three plus four 7. So 2d6 plus 4. Hover over the roll on the spell. Six plus four is the two d six. It was a six and a four. Oh no, you're right. I'm yeah. yeah. Big brain. Yeah. Big so brain. Mode. Seventeen yeah, I'm a little tired. You're right. Uh, so you blast it with uh, some fire, basically. <laughs> what is the rest of the party doing? As uh, this <laughs> the circlet spawns this ray from his forehead and it blasts out towards. Get a load of this guy. The spider. Uh, if uh, no one else is doing anything. Hang on. Yeah. I mean, what? how much... I know it's not going to kill it, but how hurt does the spider look after that? Uh, it's decently burnt from that. Okay. Uh, then I will chuck a... Uh, I'll chuck a produce flame at it. Okay. Go ahead yeah. and uh. So 16. 16? Okay, that hits for 4 damage. So Alright. 4 damage. Okay. So, I would say at this point, uh. The crocodile does seem to come back into existence. The stick that, that was inside of it 
is kind of pushed into the dirt, mud underneath it. Uh, the spider will quickly web it up. And since it's, un it's, it's dead, oh, oh, it can't fire. resist. And will begin to pull it away. Uh, Alright, cool. As fast as it possibly can. Does it not care about us hitting? Y'all don't want to kill I it? I think we scared it off. It's more interested in keeping its meal than fighting us for it. So we're not killing it? I mean, we, we could, but... It, it definitely seems more interested in the meal it has already guaranteed. I mean, I'm down to kill it. It's one less spider that will attack us. I mean, I, I, it's up to you if you all Rocky, have anything. Let's, let, let's kill it. Uh, I'm, can I moonbeam it? <laughs> oh, God. You want to moonbeam it? Uh, <laughs> okay, at this point, I would say everyone roll initiative. We I don't have a map for this, so we'll have to like kind of imagine it. Uh, um, it's... But I will need everyone to roll initiative for, for this. About how long do you think we're going to go for? Uh, I would say we probably finish this combat. Shouldn't be that long. Maybe it's going to be long. I don't know. Uh, oh, but Jesus. I think we finish this combat and then we are probably done. I have to add everyone back on because I just deleted everything. Don't mind if I do. There you go. And all of our initiatives are kind of fucked. What do you mean? Plus two, four, seven point one two, fourteen point one seven. Yeah, the decimals is your dexterity bonus. What your dexterity modifier? Why is it a decimal? Well, you see how you and Tuppo and Xanlis have the same fourteen. I would put him above me because of his dex modifier. It just makes it. So it auto does it. Yeah. Do the right uh, I see. I see. Uh. Rollies, man. No rollies for you. Damn, this guy rolled high. All right, Flam. And uh, then yes, Soma. Soma, I believe, has a three on his initiative. So if someone wants to roll a d20, I'll add his three to that. Wow. Okay. 19. Okay. So let me roll for my best bud. If it wants to load. Okay, cool. Um, so wow. Okay. That's cool. Um, so, uh, Technically, where we left off was it pulling it back, and Mayon was trying to blue slam it. Okay, so we'll say Mayon just finished his thing. Wait, Mayon, you're trying to moonbeam it. Yeah, but you said roll initiative, so we don't. Really okay, yeah, no. So I mean, happened. we can start with that, and then we just go back to the top of turn order. Yeah. Or technically, bottom yeah. of turn order because they're telling going back for you. Um. What does it do? Silver beam, five foot radius, 40 feet high. You're well from range. Until the spell ends, dim light fills the cylinder. A creature enters a spell area for the first time on its turn or starts to turn there. Makes a constitution saving throw. It takes 11 radiant damage and you're spawning on top of it. So constitution saving throw of what? 16, 13, 13. It rolled a yeah, 14, so it takes half damage. It takes five damage. Are we cool? Which means it is. Uh, so that was 17 damage on that one. You did four damage on that one. And then five damage on that one. Okay. Uh, okay. So at the bottom of the turn order, there are two of them where. In front of you guys, kind of a few feet behind where the crocodile was when it first dropped, uh, two more spiders appear. And they are 
basically making their way towards their friend that got burnt and attempting to cover it. There is a third spider that seems... See, look at what you've done. Time to rumble. I don't know. The same... I, it's not that much different, but it seems when it moves as it crawls, there's a third spider here, just four in to total. Three of them are now around the crocodilian, crocodilian, crocodile, alligator. Uh, and the fourth one appears and as it moves around, it seems to, I don't know. It can every, I, I, we have passive insights. I got this. What is everyone passive insight? 12, 13, 12, 11, 10. Uh, Mayon, uh, I would say oh, well. with your passive insight of 13, uh, it seems to be a bit more like a leading spider, if you want to say it like that. Guys, that spider's emperor. Yep. Great. Uh. Emperor spider, let's get it. And I will say for its turn, it will shoot a web at you guys. And I need everyone to make, I believe it's Dex. Okay, why did you say escape DC 14? I will say for this one because it is launching it straight at you guys. Everyone needs to make a Dexterity saving throw. And we see how it stops there. 16, 6, 18. Rest in peace on that one. Soma or Soma roll. Dexterity saving throw. I have it at advantage by accident. Okay, well. Soma rolled a six as well. So three of you. Uh, that wasn't a six that got rolled. Uh, Soma. Okay, do we have web? What is this? Uh, you guys are restrained. Yes, I'm attempting to find that. On the icons, it's the bottom right. Yeah, I get it. Help was restrained, and who rolled the other one? Soma Help with Dinri. You're also now restrained. Yo. Yeah. Which, for a quick meeting, before we uh, do anything else, you can't move. And any attack rolls against you is now at advantage, and any attack rolls you make is at disadvantage, and you have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws from here on out until it ends or you get out. Oh, I found a roll for sled dog. Uh, unless okay, we doggo is also wrap yeah, this no, we're not. So we will stop. We're, we're stopping right here. Okay, thank uh, God. I have to get up early. Planning what I had thrown at you guys is not going to end in twenty minutes. Uh, but yeah, so the rest of you managed to somehow duck out of the way and avoid this sticky situation, except for three of you, four of you, uh, Flam, you know, he's fine. The rest of you are now restrained and stuck. Two of you who are somehow at the front managed to avoid it. And that is where we stop. Once again, not intentional, I swear. Uh, we will pick up next week with combat again. Isn't that just great? Bitches love combat.